Yo, 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 yo. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another episode of the Festi Hub podcast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip on the four shout outs of the week and we're going to just kind of just jump straight to it. We do have about a three, well, I want to say like it's like a two and a half. 245 type of uh episode today i've never done something this long uh this is definitely one of those like joe rogan type length videos so if you don't want to watch this long me just do have today have tomorrow uh but our, we have a special guest today it's gonna be ian blaze from blaze entertainment he's a huge literally i think the biggest uh promoter here in florida um we talk a lot about how he got started where he's at now and all the stuff that he had to go through to get where he's at um, I promote under him for Blaze Entertainment. Um, really sweet guy. Uh, if you guys want to give him a follow, everything will be in the description down below. And without further ado, enjoy the episode. Uh, you, you ain't got like the lady. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so how's it going, everybody? I'd like to welcome <laughs> Ian Blaze from Blaze Entertainment to the podcast. Thank you for having me, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, we kind of did a little redo. This is actually like the second time recording. I pressed streaming instead of start recording. We went live. <laughs> we went live for a sec. That's fine though. Uh, you know, we're 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 always uh, making mistakes. As long as we're able to fucking continue, it's great. Um, but for all the viewers out there that don't know Ian, Ian, if you wouldn't mind just giving a quick intro. Um, I'm Ian Blaze. I am the owner of Blaze Entertainment, co-partnered with uh, Gabe Energy, which is uh, Gabriel Soto legally um and yeah we ended up creating blaze entertainment he wanted to throw events i was throwing events um i've thrown parties since 2007 uh started party ninth grade you know and we started throwing house parties all the time and it took us here you know and now we're throwing events like we're throwing concerts we went from house parties to concerts you know, and then it, it, the house parties got really bad at it. And not bad, but you ever got the you ever get the cops called like a shit ton of times? Oh uh, yeah, dude. There's times where like guns came out, bro. Yeah, what? I, what I, part of town were you throwing these things? In? <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, I went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dudes had guns. There was like gangs back in the day, a lot mm. more present than they are now. Um, yeah, I mean, you hear about like a shooting here, like downtown. Everybody, like you know, yes, oh shit! But it like, was, it was, it was like, more permanent, definitely back then. Yeah, it's things have gotten better, you know, which is the direction we want to go. But yeah, dude, there was times I've, I've seen people get stabbed, people get shot, cops get called. A lot of the times, like, luckily they weren't even my parties. They were just parties I went to, like trying to party because I only threw like a party like every Friday. But mm-hmm. there is like thursday parties because of college yeah you know? was it like so like a frat or was it like a house or like what i mean which one well, most of the <laughs> i guess every, most everything everywhere yeah, everywhere. I guess most of the times so. it was bro there was times where like i ended up finding myself like in the woods at a party yeah where it's like maybe there's like one house but you had to drive like dude those two miles yeah, so like those renegades and stuff those are the best bro i don't know what it is <laughs> like when but... the edm era was like really booming in yeah. like 2011 like that's where like all of that was happening and then skrillex came out with more stuff and put a lot of like light into music into the edm culture you know and like tiesto was there but at the same time it wasn't like he was like the number one guy, mm. but then like Skrillex came out, and then you know, like people, people are like, "Oh, like there's people doing stuff before Skrillex." Like, yeah, he's popping out, but it was like, check out TS, and then it's like, "Oh wow, like TS." Oh yeah, or Paul Don. Van Dyke, yeah, they're, and, they're you know, the like, Dons, you yeah, know? yeah, or, and uh, yeah. or check out Carl Cox, you know, like mm-hmm. doing shit forever, dude. And, whoops are you like born and raised here uh i was born in puerto rico moved here in 99 with my parents and yeah then i've stayed here like my whole life orlando has been like all i've ever lived and like not necessarily no but all i've ever lived you know thanks to like all of the events and music and art i've been able Mm -hmm. to like travel to like 27 states how old are you now i'm 28 now how do you feel in uh, I guess in retrospect with like your age and what you've accomplished, you feel like you've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, man, you're there. You're a definitely lot of, a lot of bumps in the yeah. road, you know, but I, that comes with life, 
Yeah. You know, you live, you learn, you make mistakes, you become a better person. You know, like you gotta, you gotta keep trying to strive for more. You know, I think it's easier when you look back and you like look at the life you used when you were a kid and mm-hmm. like how your parents, the the life they had, right? And you're like, am I making my parents proud, right? Like, well, not in the sense of like. <laughs> at, at, there was a time I found myself, and I was like, I my parents are not proud of me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and now I'm getting to the point yeah. where it's like, hey, I'm doing shit. My parents are definitely proud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, now if I fuck up, I'm going to let them down. Yeah. So now I just have to do better. And I have to, like, defeat myself every time. I, break a record, break my record. I think it's different because, like, they don't understand um, what we're trying to accomplish in, like, the music scene. Mm-hmm. For them, it's like, oh, well, if you're, like, not in a band, then you're not doing it, right? Correct. Like- From, it, that comes with a lot of, like, Spanish culture, too. Yeah. You it- know, but I guess, like, now as Blaze Entertainment, you know, you're part of the team, too, promoting. It's almost like we are the band. Yeah. Right so it's like wherever we go, it doesn't matter. You know you're in for a good time. Yo. Just because, like, that's what we're striving for. We're striving for, like, energy and quality. Yeah. You know? And, like, you can't, you can't duplicate energy. Energy is just there. You know? Energy can't be created or destroyed, but it, we can gather a lot of energy. Yeah, in a room. Uh-huh. <laughs> and in a warehouse. Boom! In the middle of nowhere. In the woods. Fucking the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking where the woods finally come out. <laughs> someone's house you know <laughs> they don't who, even they don't even it's like who owns this and it's like no one knows they don't even know the owners don't even know why there are people here <laughs> like what the fuck there's been times i've been to like mansions and i'm like where's the owner and they're like yeah he's on vacation it's like the butler is having a party and i'm like the butler is having oh, a party man, that's fucking and, like what that's fucking funny man <laughs> like how how do i end up here you know yeah and it's like yeah, people are doing different things, you know? Yeah. And it's like, just life brings us all together and it's great to create experiences. So so what got you, like, to get started with, like, Blaze Entertainment? And then I, go, I can go more in depth also, what is Blaze Entertainment? Blaze Entertainment. Um, our slogan is bringing a new meaning to excellence. So if we think this is good, we're trying to do better, mm-hmm. you know? They're like, one of my friends always tells me, there's always room for improvement. And I think I've, implemented that a lot into blaze entertainment you know uh health is also being put in through fest bright you know i'm very concerned about health just overall just better everything is what we're trying to create for blaze entertainment okay um more particularly with music you right know, we also do rap events we okay do pop shows r&b Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, yeah, we do gaming events. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. We do, we do Blowing it Blowing my mind right now, dude. We do it all. Just, they, they, we do things with intervals, okay. you know? Yeah. Because, like, towards the summer, like, events tend to, like, slow down because, like, we are in Orlando. Yeah, they're like, what do you do, right? So, like, everybody leaves. Everybody, a lot of the population goes to UCF. You know, it's one of the number one population, like, most people that go to school at, most students. And... So, like, once summer comes, they all go home, you know? So you kind of have to calculate these events between school. Yeah. So, like, you do everything right, but once you have, like, a good following, you could do some, like, other crazy events where it's, like, different and people want different, you know? Some people like the same thing, you know? They like uh, a coffee and a donut every morning. I like to, like, switch it up. Maybe I like a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant one morning you know and bro i'm high as shit <laughs> i fucking love that yeah i just forget oh yeah blaze entertainment yeah yeah, like, yeah blaze that's how the name started <laughs> so yeah blaze, you're blaze and then that's how you came up blaze blazing aside from like coming up with the name obviously you're like oh lost my track and came right back. Wait, wait, wait. blaze isn't your last name huh what's your last name my real name yeah. last name i don't know i don't know i forgot we keep that video <laughs> <laughs> watch this leave this out <laughs> so you came up with blaze entertainment because you like to smoke weed um the branding came a lot through weed yeah you know when i was back then it was like weed was like illegal 
you know, like you got caught with a little gram, you'll go to jail. Oh man, like my brother has a story, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like... um, and I don't know. I felt like I have I have uh, ADHD, mm. so I like suffered through that. But like, we'd actually like helped me like calm down because mm -hmm. like, even though like I had that little like moment where like I lost my train of thought real quick, yeah. but I, you saw you, how I like, came right mm -hmm. back. Without that, I would have gone another six another sentence and then into like yeah man that's, a, that's how i am then, so it's just better to just go to another subject and then i we're not don't get back to it. finish anything it was really bad like my adhd stops me from like accomplishing a lot of things this literally like helps me sit back and it's like mm -hmm. hey okay that checkpoint here it is finish line here it is let's do it so i was always seen smoking just to like help with my anxiety and adhd um and so like i became ian blaze because i got dubbed i got called ian blaze and i was like that sounds way cooler than my <laughs> real name i'll be honest though. I'll, be fucking, I'll be fucking honest i thought blaze was your last fucking <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's I'm not going to change it like yeah, my legal yeah. me, like I'm trademarking and copywriting Oh, 100% you know, dude. A lot me. of a lot of people actually do like change their like last name into something they else they want. Yeah. And then that way cuz sometimes like, you know, we are born with whatever fucking name we got, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not it's not it's, it's not brandable, and is that the right word I'm thinking of? It's not always brandable. Exactly, man. And it's like so like um a, a good example. You know, Michaels. <laughs> yeah. Pretty simple. All right, awesome. Gets the job done. Ashley's. Mm. Ian's. It's like, eh. Ian Blaze, you know, yeah. that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I, it captures people's attention. I want to see, like, what's going on inside this person that's high, like, all the time's head. Yeah, dude, you, know? you gotta, you, one thing you, we always gotta do is be able to market yourself in whatever, in the best form that you can. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, I know about, like, there's a YouTuber, Shane Dawson. I don't know if you know him, but, like, I've heard his, of him. His last name isn't Dawson. You know, like, his last name is, like, Doe or some stupid shit like that. I don't really know what like it is. Like DOE? I think it's like D O W or I think. I don't fucking know, dude. Do Dow. Dow. I think it's Dow. Is he like Asian? No. I've heard I, of the name, but I think I it's have just no I think it's idea just, who it just is. how it is. And he changed I think I forgot who told him to change. Like, no, you gotta change your last name, bro. Like it's just not a good name. <laughs> Someone said that to him? Mm -hmm. Look at him. Now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Twenty five million followers. Like oh, shit. don't work. <laughs> <laughs> so Oh shit! Doing the Lord's work. I'm, I'm at what fifteen thousand now. Let's see where I'm at. Like within a year, millions, bro. I, I hope so. Shooting for the skies. You can't fall down from if you're in outer space. <laughs> but you can die. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're unprepared. True. True. <laughs> True. I like that one. You'll only fail if you're not. I don't know. That's a question. <laughs> It's like now I like my ADHD kicks in. That's why I was about to like do it, bro. Push. You gotta, you gotta. See. Yeah, but like then, like my brain starts running to like all these possibilities. What? So what was the idea? Like, what made you like one day just be like, oh, I'm just gonna start branding it. Yeah, start a business. Legalities. Okay. You know? Um, if you're gonna do something, do it right. Right. You know. So it was like my name was Ian Blaze. I wanted to put a piece of like myself into it, and mm -hmm. since I was Ian Blaze, I said blaze and then what are we gonna do like there's events like legally it's called blaze events and entertainment okay but the company we call it blaze entertainment catchier better you know like we're probably gonna like in the future go toward blaze events and entertainment because we're also gonna start like giving back to people so right. like we are gonna like offer services but we want to make sure like i stated it's something of quality you know and it's like if you're not satisfied bro we're gonna like give give the money back if like, we if we fail you then like we're not doing our job mm -hmm. you know and that's part of like being excellent which is one of our slogans you know yeah and like i guess uh you you thought about like oh shoot let me go ahead and just make a business and stuff like that were you like worried or scared like okay i'm like start every this business. day yeah every fucking day now i'm starting to get better but it's like one wrong move, you're fucked. You lose either you lose all your money until like you get to like a better position. Mm -hmm. You obviously try to establish multiple sources of income, you know. So like we have merch coming out. We have uh, we partnered up with Emerald Leaf, where we have uh, Delta Eight, and then we have Foreign Snacks, 
<laughs> Can you read it? What's that? What does that say, bro? <laughs> Hot and spicy chicken wings. Oh, please, that's... not the English part. What is that? Is that <laughs> Tanya? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but watch well, sure. it. Brought them here so you could try them Let out yourself. See. All right. Get ready. They look like goldfish. Do that. No, I see. I see what, they're, I see what they're doing. Again. Yeah, they're, they're uh, chicken it's legs. It's chicken wing. <laughs> chicken wings or chicken legs, bro. Uh, the drumsticks. Drumsticks, yeah. These are they're pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love this is more of a more of a video podcast. So people like on the Spotify are like, oh, "What are man. they doing? Why are they, why are they all crunchy?" <laughs> I mean. You should add the, the video, too. No, oh, it's all together? Yeah. But the video version is on YouTube. The people who listen to it, like, on the car ride on the Spotify, they can only hear it. So, like, I had to, like, visually... I wish I could taste it. So, they, like, visualize it to people, like, Smell yeah. the vision 2023. Yeah. So, like, like we're eating. They look like gold, like the goldfish snacks, but they, um, they're shaped like... Stick. Yeah, they're shaped like drumsticks, and they're spicy. But not, like, but spicy, like spicy. Sweet. Like, yeah, like a... Like a sweet and spicy. It says hot and spicy, but it's like oh, it's sweet. It's like a hot honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like that's really good. <laughs> Sm- smoke a few of these and eat that. And just vibe. Just fucking that's what I do on my free time. Yeah. I like eating food that like What's isn't your- from here. <laughs> uh I like Italian a lot. I like mm-hmm. Japanese. Dude, you know what I so what I love is like Korean barbecue, and I was talking to somebody how like I just love it when like they bring you the food and the meat and stuff, and then uh, you cook it yourself. And someone's like, "Are you like serious?" The, the, uh, the hibachi, the Korean barbecues. Yeah, yeah, I love. I don't know. And they're like, "Wait a minute, you're like not only you're paying for the food, like but all you can eat." Kind of, yeah. They're one of those like you kind of just. Uh, some places will will just keep bringing you stuff. You buy like oh, however much, but yeah. there's a place where like you have to buy the meat separately at least. Everything else is like all you can eat. Um, but like, I don't know. I just love just eating it fresh, you know? Like, that's as fresh as it's going to get. You're literally getting it out of like the stove, you know what I mean? So, I mean, why don't you just cook at your house at that point? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Okay. <laughs> I just want to be outside. <laughs> I guess you're like, essentially at that point, you are paying for like the food, yeah, but like you're paying for like, to be able to get out of your house dude some more of like an experience i, I guess in some sense i am paying a lot of money for it, like something you can just do it home. <laughs> like i said this in my future home like you have an island mm. i want a hibachi grill yes <laughs> that's what i want that'd be dope you, you feel that me? would be like, so yeah you, you got a hibachi grill yeah. like that's or both a a hibachi grill next to it and then, well, I mean, it'd be like a hibachi grill with like the island thing, mm-hmm. like oh, like in the yeah, yeah, yeah right, and then you you could eat yeah. around the hibachi, uh-huh. yeah, like Kobe's, for example. I haven't been there. You haven't, uh, Benihana's, bro. I just got here last month, man. Give me a break, bro. Benihana's everywhere. Is it? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't I'm pretty sure like Steve Aoki's dad like owns Benihana's. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact. Let's double. Let's legit check that. <laughs> Check our sources. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, it was. I'm gonna call that for being a liar. <laughs> what? Does... I usually just put on the the speech thing and I just talk to it. Like, hey, like what's the question? Owns <laughs> any He's a uh, he's. Looking up if yeah. Stevie Aoki's dad. Yeah, best it. known as Rocky Aoki. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, right there. I believe you, bro. <laughs> In New York. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Cali originally, man. Still getting used to all the uh, stuff over here on the East Coast. Yeah, how's the change? Now I'm flipping the tables. Yeah. Now I'm you. Yeah, uh, the change. I mean... I come from a military background, so um, I've been in the military the last seven years. I've been traveling. I, I'm from originally from Cali, but I've been traveling for the last seven years. So you I'm, like Cali? 
am I living there? Because that should answer the question. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I love parts of Cali. Like there's, there's things about Cali that I do love and I will forever like be like thankful that that was like my home, you know? Um, but there was a reason why I didn't go back, you know? So um, I didn't like the way they handled COVID that whole, that whole ordeal, man. Oh yeah. The, 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 the panini got way out of hand over there, the bro. Panini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use that, but that's funny. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's a funny sentence. They the fucking panini got out of hand. <laughs> bro. So I don't like the way they handled it, man. So I, I mean, I, honestly, I was dogging on Florida. I'm like, just like, dude, they're not being safe. The way they're handling mm-hmm. things is it's crazy. Like man. here, like at least people tell you like, hey, I've been sick. And like, you know, we try yeah. to like look out for each other. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know which way is right, obviously. But I just feel like. I just feel we got to take care of each other. You know, yeah. we are sick. It doesn't matter if it's COVID or like common cold. Just like try to distance yourself. You know, don't get other people sick. You know, you don't mm-hmm. be spreading it. I remember when uh when the whole you know panorama happened, mm-hmm. you know, they uh everybody in Florida was literally on the beach and <laughs> yeah, everybody. yeah, outside events, you know, that was the rules they set. Yeah. We were just following the rules the whole time. <laughs> they said six feet, only outdoor activities, yeah. you know. So like nobody was going to like, you go to the beach mm. you're with your crew you're how was take your distance nah, nah, yeah i got a question now how mm. was how did how, how was blaze entertainment affected during the pandemic like, oh how, dude we 2020 uh, we came in strong hell yeah <laughs> we had like an ian blaze and friends and packed uh it was called celine sports bar mm. um packed that place out and then we had uh we had lit lords for the first time at celine mm-hmm. and I was like on a Friday in January and like bro, that slam dunk and then COVID just hit and it was like wow we, like we were about to have like our third like our fourth really really big event and it just everything just came to a halt and it was like wow what am I gonna do with my life you know entertainment industry just like got killed within like literally like it was alive and then it was dead is non-existent yeah just like immediately do no interaction i feel people. like it was easier here at least though like you guys like you know i mean it was like that a little bit after mm-hmm. okay but like here it almost got to the point where like people were like tripping out and saying like, oh yeah it's an airborne thing so it was like you stepped out of your house yeah exactly bro you, you got covid yeah you know i breathed air outside covid yeah and it's like what like it was it was scary and then like i remember like oh i won't forget this like i started like we were we stayed in my in my house for like two whole months like we stocked up for a bit we like barely went out and then like i went i i like, really 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 wanted pop <laughs> and uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah i drove out and then it like felt like a normal day and i like called my mom and i was like hey like I don't know if it's you or like it's me, but like I'm outside and like it feels normal. And she's like, "Oh yeah, that's like a lot of like uh what what they call like um the people that were allowed to like work. Mm-hmm. They had like a name. I forgot. What it um, I'm a yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, why can't I think of it right <laughs> now? Mission essential. Essential. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. You know, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's essential. I'm like, I don't know. Like, that's too many essential working people, you know? Yeah, it was supposed to, You know what's funny, though? <laughs> essential all of, all of a sudden became talk about McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Because of food. If they're so essential, why are they making only $7 yeah. an hour? And then, and then, like, people started, like, events started doing, like, uh, we started doing live streams during covid oh yeah yeah i remember yeah. that dude i live stream was such a huge thing too like if you if you picked up on the whole live stream thing you were on a roll nowadays man people are still trying to live stream and i'm sorry man i'm not going back to twitch anytime soon like mm-hmm. no it has to be like something that's gonna like break boundaries mm-hmm. and like you know like joji did one that like caught my attention but i was like i don't know how i feel about paying like 30 dollars to like watch see, the- yeah to watch it 
but it was almost like if it was like five or ten. Mm-hmm. I think I would have done. Yeah, you know. So like we did ours for free. Yeah, and we just had a bunch of like. I never, people that I never paid in. for them, man. I wasn't that desperate, bro. Like, we did donation based, and like we mm. we got some money and like distributed it with everybody that like performed, you know. Yeah, we, like put it all together. We did a few of those, and like they got over a hundred people like viewing, and I was like, whoa. I like, I remember I remember joining like a Zoom chat and with like, you know, hundreds of people and stuff, and like we were always watching like the same live stream or whatever, and it was like a, so you. Like you go on radio, the same ones. Yeah, we're watching. Well, all of us are watching the same live stream and stuff. So uh-huh. like, we all get in a group chat. So we all we, we all like sign up on like radiate. We're like, hey, we're all gonna yeah. be doing like this live stream one, and then everybody adds each other for like the Zoom chat. Like somebody's like hosting it. And, like yeah. literally everyone just gets added. And bro, when I tell you, there was like three hundred people in this fucking thing. And it's so like, you saw like a lot of little squares. Well, it, it maxes out at a certain point, and then it becomes pages. Wow. Yeah. You, you guys like why like that. Uh, why not just like a Twitch? Well, so it was on Twitch, so uh-huh. everyone was watching Twitch on their TV, but they're they're all we're all streaming to see each other watch it as well. <laughs> so I don't know. We were like, watching to watch something. Yeah, we were watching each other watch. Something. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what we were. We we're trying to have like human interaction. Yeah. You know? no, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I hadn't seen anybody in two weeks, bro. I just wanted to see wow. somebody. Wow, I just stayed home and like I just made sure that I was like always on the phone. Really, bro? When I tell you uh, these like these um these like streaming sessions and stuff on Zoom, they got wild, bro. When I tell you, everybody was just like booty naked at some point. <laughs> Were y'all drinking and shit? Drinking, taking shots together. <laughs> when you see like fifty people just like, like at the same yeah, at same time, time. <laughs> like. <laughs> You know, just like you know, that sounds kind of fun. It was a little but fun. I wish, man. I wish that it was like that, but like with a few more people, like here, yeah, you know, where it's like five people, and then it's like on top of that, like I think like we would last like a few hours before, like I, bro. I got so drunk for these everyone. things, bro. Yeah. When I tell you, I was I was always fucked up in my room, and I never drank so much in like like that whole like you know like in March. Yeah, type drank break. that much for just because of COVID. I don't know what else to do with myself, bro. I was mean, yeah, drinking. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like drinking bottles. I don't know what else to do. Like, essential worker, be a guy. Yeah. Let's see it. Which is what, what the thing was. I was an essential worker. Um, but even our essential work got minimized because we had I um I've been work, I worked at a hospital. So our like the clinic I worked at, we had five different clinics. We sent everybody to one clinic only. So I got told I just needed to go home. I'm like, all right, well, because I'm not working anytime soon. Like, let me know when I got to work. So, like, I was just out of a job. You just got laid off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people just, like, went from having the jobs to, like, you have nothing. And it's, like, then there's only, like, a limited amount of jobs. You know what they fucking said, too? What do you do? People were saying, um, oh, my gosh, uh, I'm throwing blanks here, too, see? It happens. The worst, bro. (laughs) I didn't take my Ritalin today. (laughs) But like people, okay, people were saying like, oh, like you know, you guys fucked up. You should always have like, you know, oh, you know, they started with this. You should always have like three months worth of savings in your bank. Mm-hmm. You know, that way you can always pay bills for three months at a time. When yeah. those three months pass, they're like, well, you should always have six months of like, you know, savings. And then, bro, when after six months, they're like, we well, should have a year. I mean, yeah. you're telling me that I need to have a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account just in case COVID hits. That makes me work harder. <laughs> Bitch, but we're talking about the now. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, yeah, it was like I had to like think of other sources of income. So like we created like shirts, we made yeah. shirts, and that like helped pay some bills, you know. So like that's why like people got the merch now. Like a lot of people were supporting during COVID. It was great. yeah because I mean, mean there's a lot of unity. When there there, there was man, especially like people were, like who. Didn't overseas a... and everything like everyone was like literally like unified and everyone was like we're, we're trying to fucking defeat covid and then it's like oh yeah it's it's not that serious it's serious mm-hmm. you know but it's like we can all be careful they're like it's it's slowed down you know like we just gotta take care of each other that's needed like, you know like sick do that happy space dude but like bro i've never felt like that much like unity 
for like us to like fuck shit up. Like I saw people like the the Japan uh what was it China Japan videos mm-hmm. where like they had like drones just sanitizing the entire street. Oh my god, dude! dude I, I saw was that. like, I was like, yeah, yeah let's yeah. go. I forgot like, where I, I saw was that. rooting for them. It was probably Japan, man. Yeah. Those, those guys over there, man, they are way beat. Yeah, they were flying, yeah. they were flying drone sanitizing yeah. everything. And I was like, "This is like we're we're really trying to <laughs> fuck it up right now." Uh, I know we got like no with it. <laughs> we're just being honest, but we got no. We with tried, it. man, bro. It's like it's to the point where like, can we just all get along? <laughs> you know? Yeah, bro. We we like we everyone went on lockdown for two weeks. The whole world went on lockdown for two weeks. Uh, I mean, we were talking about super sanitation. You're talking about all these things that we were mm-hmm. doing, right? Like every single day, there was new news. Oh. Like um, masks don't help you. Don't worry about it. And I was like, okay, masks do help you. Yeah, you can't use. They didn't uh, know. They were just fighting you. Yeah, buddy, man. And like, okay, uh, okay. So masks do work, but you can't mm-hmm. take ours because we need it from medical staff. Uh-huh. So and bro, and I, I remember watching a video. Life is wild. I remember watching a video, man, online or online. It was like I don't know if it was like the president or somebody, uh, one of the advisors, somebody. Was like showing you how to rip up your shirt to make a mask, and they're like, you get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm not making. I literally made a mask out of my shirt. Yeah, man. Like there was just no mask available. I don't know what else to do. But now, but they wouldn't let you it go. Not like that, bro. Where I was at, um, I I couldn't go anywhere without a mask. And were you in Cali? I was in Texas at the time. Texas? Actually, now I was traveling. I got stuck midway, and they're like, well, they gave it that word, like nobody should be traveling unless you're essential or some shit. And I'm like, cool, man. Like, um. Am I essential? So I call my boss. Am I essential, bro? He goes, yes. You keep driving. <laughs> yeah. So, and yeah, I was in Texas at the time. I was doing some training and, you know, um, I couldn't, I was on base and I couldn't leave. So they're like, hey man, well, you need like a mask. I'm like, well, I don't have one. They're like, well, that shirt looks pretty good. But I, yeah, pretty much. So here's some scissors. And it was, bro, it was, like, a, it was on survival up. of the fittest. Cut that bitch up, man. <laughs> it helped my favorite shirt man <laughs> was it like a good shirt fuck no oh. i got it at like a goodwill or some shit <laughs> <laughs> plain white tee yeah you got the booty stain still on there for mm. my <laughs> <laughs> bro the funny things you see man these people were, were, were ah, just the funniest shit man like definitely 2020 i, I think was i saw like some fuck. videos of like some a dude like wearing like pants yeah bro i was seeing seeing some ratchet shit bro yeah it was it was bad it was (laughs) people wear like diapers and shit we were we were tweaking (laughs) we were we were tweaking we were like we don't know what the fuck to do and like then the people in charge it's like we just kind of like assume that like they're in charge because they know more than us and it was like they're supposed they they don't know what the fuck is going on I'm super fucked. And we weren't in the wrong. <laughs> they, they, they were supposed to be guiding us. Yeah. Why weren't they guiding us the right way? Mm-hmm. They just kind of like implemented everything at the same time. And it just kind of like contradicted itself. You know, mm-hmm. it was like, hey, this helps. But then it like also doesn't help to have it. So it's like both sides well, are right. Even now, like right? getting better immunity and wearing a mask. Yes, they yeah. do both help. You know, so it's like it's it was just. Yeah. Two right answers, like trying to say one's right and one's wrong. When there's multiple ways to go about a situation. Yeah. And, and then, like, now we're here. But like, you know, they say wearing three masks help. I'm not wearing three masks, brother. You're that like, helped. Yeah, four or five. Like, yeah, lucky I'm wearing one, <laughs> first of all. What was it? I think there was like one point where they were like, oh, yeah, like some masks had like little ventilation things. Yeah. Did you know? And you then can- they were like, those don't help. Yeah. You got to get a paper one. And it's like, I don't know that. I don't know. The other one looks kind of, it might help a little better, but okay. It helps me breathe more. So. Uh-huh. And they, they actually don't allow those at the, at the airport. The ones with vents? Yeah. They, uh, the first time I found that out was I was, uh, I was at the airport and this guy had it and the like attendant had to go up to him and was like, hey, you can't wear that. And he goes, well, what the fuck am I going to do? She's like, well, you need to get wear the mask. shirt. And he's like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they don't allow that anymore for some reason. Like, oh, you know, he was, can't do the shirt. No they can't more. do the shirts no oh. more, bro. Like, people are like, people, well, people are like, oh, well, this isn't March 2020, bro. We're in July, right? Like, you shouldn't have found a mask. And when I tell you, bro, it was like, there was a, the shortage was just so real, bro. You couldn't even get a mask that, like, 
or one every day. You had to wear your mask like once every like year. Like, like yeah. Um, and and the people that wore that mask, same mask for a whole year, like the disposable ones, the ones that they were dirty, covered in shit, oh, bro. And I was wow. like, bro, you don't get sick from like. We COVID. sold face masks too. Yeah, yeah. They see that yeah. that was like the thing. If you were selling face masks, bro, you were profiting some. You know, well, like, yeah, it was paying the bills. Yeah, bro, it was paying the bills. Put my little logo on it. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, even now you. Just, I even gave them out for free too. Yeah, I mean, I, I was like, yo, fuck great, it, like I have some great money. Marketing. I, I had, yeah, like it was, it was marketing, but it was like at the same time, it was like, hey, like it also showed unity. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like even though like it was the brand, it was like. At the same time, like, yeah, I put money towards it and I gave it away for free. Fuck it. Great. You know? Great marketing, man. You know, yeah, like, I... it, it takes care of the people we, for with Blaze Entertainment. Mm-hmm. And, and like, when we partnered up with Festbrite, like, we bought hand sanitizers. So, like, we have the, you have the option for all of our events as you're walking in to clean your hands. You know, it's not something I will too say, crazy. man. And I don't know, it wasn't like every single place, but I know this for sure. It was Starbucks for sure. Don't know why, man, but their sanitizer smelled like fucking. Like tequila? No, man. Um, oh no, it wasn't one of those. It was worse. I feel like it just smelled like complete shit. Like I don't know even how to describe the smell. It was like it just rancid. And I was like, I don't know what they put in the sanitizer, bro. I don't know how, how homemade this is, but like the Starbucks sanitizer, like it was nah, bro. <laughs> it wasn't clutch at all, bro. I was like, because I, I would, I would go. Did to, it vary per location? It was always Starbucks. I don't know, man. Every location, but like in Texas or like the it Starbucks was in Colorado. Here? I haven't, well, I haven't been to the ones here. Like, yeah, meanwhile, everywhere during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a lot more places. Where else? That, bro. Where else? I went to. I went. I did visit Cali for a little bit. I went to Berlin. Um, I went to <laughs> New York. Um, so you Chicago. Said, I don't. I don't know what to, you went from. I went to Utah. I don't have a mask. I'm Arizona. Use a shirt to. I'm gonna travel the world. Well, I was. You know, promoting, <laughs> I, I was promoting for events, bro. So, like, you know, I got to show face, you know. I thought that the table touches. You know, yeah. like, the best time during the pandemic, bro. You know, like, I know it sucks. And I I, mm-hmm. I, I almost got canceled a couple times, you know. It but like, happens. You know, you're, you're, you're out traveling and doing the things that you really shouldn't be doing mm-hmm. or whatever. But, like, listen, I was the first one to get vaccinated. I got vaccinated in January of 2021, bro. I was the first motherfucker to get you vaccinated. You just got to be safe, man. That's like the number one hygiene is yeah. like a big one, you know. Bubonic plague was another like great example, you know. Yeah, they came down where like they just weren't taking showers. That was literally the solution. And like nowadays, things going so fast, bro. I'd be seeing some people wear the same yeah. clothes like three days in a row. You know, it's like they <laughs> <laughs> catch something, gonna catch something other than COVID. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> like yo. You know, I'm down to give out like some free shirts. You know, I I, I, will, I will I'll say this, man. I will be fine. Like it is okay to like wear the same clothes, um, as long as you're changing your like socks and your chonies, and then your shirt, some like, form of hygiene, and then your shirt, some, as long as you're putting on deodorant, I think you'd be okay. <laughs> so, at least something. At least something. But bro. if you're a sweaty motherfucker, bro, like read the room, bro. Change your shirt. Yeah. But oh, funny story about so we're talking about shirts and stuff, and we're just talking about marketing is uh. I, so these events that I was going through is like 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, I was handing out free like frisky hug. They're like really trippy shirts. Um, and I was handing them out. You designed it? I made the design. Yeah. And I had I had it printed out and I made a bunch of them. And I, I ended up with I sold I sold most of them. And then I ended up with just so much like just a couple more sub sizes. Like I just couldn't buy people for. So I handed them out at events. I'm like, oh, it's great. Great promo. Great marketing. Mm-hmm. When I tell you, man, I got a I got a DM from somebody who was like, bro, I'm working at the ski resort. And I saw somebody with a Frisky Hug shirt on, and I went up to him, and I was like, wait, you know Frisky Hug? He's like, yeah, we met at a rave in like, yeah. 2020, and I was like... It makes you realize the world's not that big. It's not, man. The fact, it's, it's, there's a lot of people. The, the fact that he... Wore, but it's really not that big. Or maybe just not that small. Huh? <laughs> maybe, We're not that small? We're not that small, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You know uh, I'll take a bong rip to that. I like yeah, that one. It, bro. <laughs> yeah, when you told me you're like, you got a bong or you got like a pipe. I'm like, dude, honestly, I don't really smoke, but let me check the closet. <laughs> you got it, bro. It's an essential. <laughs> it's an essential. It's, it's a it's a staple in the house. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was right next to the crack pipe. <laughs> You never know when you got friends with the crack, I guess. God damn. 
we played it. We played a joke in the house. We had a bunch of people over, and <laughs> I do bleep damn whatever. Nah, man, they nah. don't know. Uh, uh, nah, the people who view this, so they're, yeah. they're, they're they're usually pretty. Bro, chill. they know this is this is just a fucking reference. I don't mean to like live. Yeah, they, they take it too personal. You That's know, a them thing. You know what's funny, man? It's like my okay. I, I see. It. <sighs> okay, so there are content creators that get a lot of shit, bro, uh-huh. for like uh, the things they say, the things they do, the way but they appear on videos. Content? And, and, and it is content and I get it. Um, but it, it's always like they always get shit on for some reason. I don't know, man. My followers and my viewers and the people who subscribe to my shit, bro, they don't shit on me the way they like other content yeah. creators. Like they know I'm joking, bro. Like, like it's this not- was uh, this is a story. I'm gonna say the word and it's just for the sake of storytelling. Um mm-hmm. back in the day, like I used to say the word retarded a lot, and not necessarily yeah. as a noun. You Dude, know? I was just talking more about like somebody as today. Yeah. yeah. And like I had written a post that I said that mm-hmm. word, that I said retarded, and some girl just kind of like snapped on me. And I was like, yo, like my bad. Yeah, yeah. Like they didn't know like that was that offensive. That was when like it was starting to become like super offensive. Mm-hmm. And then like I encountered that and I was like, whoa. Like yep. my bad. Like, what are some other words that I could use mm-hmm. uh, in replacement of yeah, yeah, saying that? And then she was like, "I'm gonna cancel you." And I'm like, yeah. "Yo, like, listen, I'm trying to like find a substitute." She's like, "You're just saying that now, fuck you." And I, and yeah. then like at that moment, like all of my followers just came Ooh. like wild hyenas, and they were like. Yo, fuck you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> like, yo, he wasn't like that serious. Bro, it was just yeah. like everybody came and I was just like, okay, bad. Like, that's the type of support I need. Cause like, bro, like I made a mistake trying to. Yeah, get we all, and we're all we're all human, we all live and learn, man. And uh a baby and, doesn't and, know everything. And that's this this is why I'm not doing live streaming just yet, because uh-huh. I, I'm still using some of the words I used in the past by mistake. I suppose it was come out bro yeah sometimes and, and i'm trying to just get better with my word choices i don't mean to say some things and but i feel like it just like bleh, you know yeah I'm, what it but is doing it live would it like keep you on your toes it, it'd get me canceled pretty fast bro because <laughs> 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 it's not even just it's not even just like my followers and stuff like that uh-huh. or the people who are watching the streams it's like the the algorithm or the the ai in the system that uh like monitors all the streamings they catch on words like that. So they, you could get actually banned for bully, uh, harassment, and stuff like that, like straight up. So we'll bully them. Uh, bro, when I tell you uh, somebody got uh, banned or restricted, I believe, um, on YouTube for saying the word COVID. That's, what, that's why I said the word. That's why we say the word. If that happened to me, like, I would have been so pissed. I would have thrown it about it and been like, fuck you. Like, at the count of three, say fuck you, but, too. But that's and what, just gone on so tour. So that's why we say the word pan, panini or, pan, or Pandora for, or Panorama. Canceled for saying that? The, the, um, the streaming service will cancel you. For saying the word COVID. Um, yeah. Yeah, because you were uh, giving false information. So they don't, they don't want, so they, 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 what? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like it, it was, at least in 2020, it was pretty serious, bro. Oh like, yeah. 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 Uh, I think now it's a little bit more chill, but like, I think we yeah. just so used to seeing like Panini and Pandora and, and Panera or whatever. <laughs> right. And uh, Pan- it, it, we say those things because in 2020, even some of 2021, the, the AI in the system would, would track it and be like, oh, like you are being restricted for giving false information about mm-hmm. COVID in the, in the state that we're in. That's what we just couldn't. We had to be careful with those. Words, I remember bro. there was like little flag. Not if you say that, like a little blue bar. Mm-hmm. Says it. With, well, that you you so you still get it now, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, but now like, what if it's not like that? No, streaming was pretty was pretty like tracked by the. But whatever streaming service you're using, it was it was 100 tracked, dude. Like they heard everything you said, and it was like, so like that's why I'm always worried about live streaming. I I normally don't because I don't want to get accidentally like restricted or banned for. <laughs> <laughs> you okay <coughs> you don't want me to perform the heimlich maneuver no. got you bro come here <laughs> the plus the, the spicy one just... wow that it, it went, it went did it go in the wrong hole no it's you want a beer it's <laughs> just really I, you know how like doritos have like the mm-hmm. flavor blasted ones that happened but with the spice and with the the bong rip <laughs> great, great combo wow 
I'm back. You're good. <laughs> you got a beer right there if you want to. Oh, no, yeah, no. you don't. You don't have to suffer through this, brother. This is for you. I would love to like create a beer. I I hate. Dude, I was uh, but I like have, I need this. I have some friends that like they're super into brewing and stuff, and I've always wanted to learn. Like the only thing that I've ever learned how to do is make wine. So I I I know how to make wine and all that kind of stuff. Like I've done all of it between like literally like in like very like Mexican of me to like say this, but like you know between like picking the grapes uh-huh. <laughs> and you know like storing them, um, you know, um, killing off everything, and then like actually crushing them, putting them in a container. Uh, cleaning that container out, taking all the stuff out. You did that whole process. All of it, even uh, down to bottling the wine. I did d- you do the foot stomping thing? So they actually. I know they'd be doing. That. They, they, I think I, when I did it, uh, it was probably it, gets it, cold. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, yeah, when I, <laughs> like when I did it, wasn't with feet. Process. It's like we we just crushed it with like it was like a nothing with like a pole. We just like kept, you know. Yeah, that's way better than people stomping. Yeah, it's weird, bro. Like you got fucking foot fungus and shit. Like, uh huh. I think it's for hahas, <laughs> so, but like they be saying, like, yeah, we'll make your wine if you do that. It's like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I feel like I very uncomfortable. I would, yeah, I don't think I would feel <laughs> got a foot comfortable. Finish, bro. Like, I I don't. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I'm saying like to the guy. <laughs> some some people. You know, to each other, that that might be a thing you know, they like. You know, that, that is one thing I considered, man. It's like, <laughs> can I can I start an OnlyFans foot page? <laughs> you can. You can do anything. You can do anything if you put your heart into it. You you just got to put anything into it, bro. <laughs> fuck, fuck the heart. You got to get the angles, bro. Fuck the heart. You got whatever it takes. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> Arm and a leg. <laughs> you got to be, be athletic or not. Like, you got to have mobility, bro, and be flexible. You got to be able to use them toes to grab things. I don't even know what describes a pretty foot, but, like, I know what the <laughs> fuck describes an ugly one. I know what an <laughs> ugly foot look like. <laughs> You know, but like there's people oh, that man. like pay for that. Shit. I am not nice when it comes to like you know, like people like wearing like nothing uh while they walk around. I'm like, bro, you got some ugly ass feet to be walking around in fucking sandals, bro. See, I'm okay with like girls doing that. If a dude doing that, like I'm not that okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> girls, yeah, have at it as as much as you want. Pro bits, bro. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'm curious. How Hashtag long? Hashtag free the tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this has been such a fucking journey, man. I'm really glad like you're here. What inspired like Frisky Hug? That <laughs> sounds uh, an intense kind of hug. It, it's it's actually pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it, it's funny. I just did an interview on this actually a second ago. Um, so, oh, man, it's just it's such a, like a long story. But like I used to be into gaming and stuff like that. Uh huh. Um, and like a year prior to like me starting off a, a whole gaming career, I had like, I had like twenty people under me. I had a whole community. Um, I had graphic from designers gaming? from for gaming. Yeah, we had like people who were in the LM, uh, MLG, and we had people who were doing the content. So creating. you fuck with like esports? Yeah, yeah. That we were in esports we, and everything. We yeah. have shit. So we were all in that. We got you involved with that. No, no. I, I I quit this for like I was just it was so just you, too well, much. You're man. rehired. Rehired. <laughs> you're back in. So like I was in charge of like this huge community and these these like twenty fucking kids we were just. You know, we we're like 18, but we're all fucking kids, bro. Bro, and but you guys be making moves. And we were making moves, we were making money, bro. I mean, dude, we there's like 13 year olds making more than I could, than I've, I've ever made in my yeah. entire fucking 28 years of living. Bro, I, I never thought at that time that I would be <laughs> From playing. From video games. Bro, I never thought at that time I'd be playing with like Phase and Optic members and shit. Yeah. We were just like, we were all just fucking friends, bro. Like, this is a, this, it didn't, it almost seems like, um, Back then, the gaming community is what it is now with, like, here, right? Like, mm-hmm. oh, we're hanging out with all these, like, really cool DJs. We're hanging out with Pasquale. We're hanging out. You know, and this is, like, I never thought in my earlier raving, like, section where when I started, I would ever meet Pasquale or whatever, meet, like, Pepe. And, like, we yeah, hang out with these cool... Like, right down the... Like, right in the... They're fucking us, right yeah. here, yeah. And, like, it was like that with gaming, right? Was, really I was hanging out with these... Message away. Yeah, I was, like, hanging out with these, like, really cool, like, fucking dudes I never thought were possible, like... People talk about them, but I never thought I'd be like hanging out, playing video games with them, and and it, and it was like that. Like face plan. Yeah, bro, yeah. it was real, bro. It was, that like, was like a big one. Yeah, and like the, all the most of the members have changed now. Um, I never, I never got to like meet or play with any of like the like the founders or like the main main members and stuff. But they had a bunch of members that were like creating content and stuff like that. Um, they had like a roster list at the time. I don't know how they, how they're doing it now, but back in the days, they had a they had a whole roster list on their website and stuff like that. So yeah, they still got those. Yeah, so now um, I I had a buddy who, um, so I got, like, really drunk and, like, you know, 
I, I, I got really handsy and stuff. And my, my buddy was like, dude, you're, you're just too much. He's like, he's like, um, you're just, you're just really touchy, bro. Uh-huh. He, you know, he told me like simmer down. <laughs> That's right. Man. Like, I don't know. I just, he like <laughs> trying to massage his mofo, whatever. And like, um, I went, I went home and like back in the days, man, with like rave scenes, there were things called a rave name. Um, and you would get a rave name from like a, like a friend or someone who bumped into you and created like a moment or some of that. And he goes, Hey man, that's I, probably how I got Ian blaze. Cause it happened while I was raving. Probably man. Honestly, like yeah, everyone gives like out like a rave I name. I didn't so even like, know it was called a rave name. So everyone gets like a rave name. And so when you've been in the scene for a minute, like Lady so like, Casa. Oh my. Woo. So lady, I just, DM'd. I love you. Lady Casa. <laughs> I just, so bad. I just DM'd her yesterday. <laughs> 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 I just DM'd her. It's so funny that you said that. I just DM'd her yesterday. I asked her to be on the podcast. She replied? Nah, dude. Damn. She, yeah, she'd be busy. It's I, I, she I, I reply? Nah, man, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I, I took I, rejection pretty, pretty terribly. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insist. <laughs> but you didn't get rejected. True, true. Oh. The, 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 she's just busy. She's just busy. <laughs> no, but I, uh, I, I DM'd her and stuff. I mean, it's, it's been like freaking like twelve hours, bro. So I, I mean, even more than that, I guess. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I literally after oh, after we left the warehouse, like I was, I was like, about to say, like I got to meet her. Uh... Few years back at EDC, I'm pretty sure I still, if she hasn't changed her number, I still got it. Yeah, so like I'm pretty sure like Lady Casa is like her rave name. So, like, so mine, mm-hmm. uh, my, my buddy was like, like, bro, I want to give you a rave name. If you don't have one, do you have one yet? I'm like, no, while no. you're drunk, while you were touching. No, no, it was after we already went home. After you touched, I was going through my depression. <laughs> after I after I tickled him, um, and I went home. And he, uh, I was going through like depression, bro. You know, like mm-hmm. your, your first big festival depression. Oh, I yeah. went through it, man. And I was like, it's one of those things where like, dude, your first big festival is just, um, it's just mind blowing, man. You know, you the first, what was your first big festival? Like really, really big one was EDC Las Vegas. Mm, that's cool. <laughs> well, that's what I mean by like big. <laughs> Cause I've been through like a bunch of like other big My ones. My first big one was like EDC Orlando. And that's when I was like, whoa, <laughs> like all mm-hmm. these just took a shit on me. <laughs> All right. You know, and that's when I was like, I got to do this and surpass, you know. I like to think of those like just regular festivals. And then anything like that seems smaller than that, just a small festival. But like, like my first regular festival was, um, it was, kind of, it was, it was kind of small. It was like in the middle between like a small and a regular. Like a one stage festival? Yeah, it's called ID, ID. So, um, Identity Festival. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, no longer they a don't thing. Do that, yeah. yeah, no longer a thing. But I went to the I think it was like either the last year or the second to last year that I did it. That was my first real like mm-hmm. actual festival. And then I did White Wonderland. They don't do it at anymore. It was over at the Disneyland Convention Center. Um, that was for New Year's. And then I did Nocturnal Wonderland. I remember that. Back uh man, back in the days. But that was uh I did a lot of after after EC Las Vegas, but I was doing some I, I was like, dude, I got in. I gotta do more of these. Like this is like I gotta, insane. I gotta do it all. So he's you like, I'm like EDC Mexico. I haven't done any international festivals just yet. I'm I'm going to though uh, at some point. Uh, dude, Mexico sounds like perfect. I speak Spanish might as well, right? I know. Okay. I don't know it's why. Right I, there. I don't know why I have it, man. Shame. It's uh, coming soon. But yeah, he's like he's like, oh man, I'm gonna give you your name. Like I'm gonna rave name you Frisky. And at first, bro, I was like taking it back, and I was like, that's kind of insulting. <laughs> like. You know, it is what it is, man. Like, you know, like I, I'm only human and stuff like that. You know, we all take substances that you know make us act and do certain things. You know what I mean? Um, and so your last name is Hug. You know, <laughs> I told you. First <laughs> classified. <name> is <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to the whole hug part, right? <laughs> and um, I was like, oh, okay, like frisky, whatever. So I, instead of like put like tell people I was frisky at the time. I used it for my gaming because that's where I was like focused on, focused on gaming and like making this thing. So um, I call my, yeah. all your na- it's so my name. So yeah, so my name on there you was ran out of names and became hug about that. So, <laughs> so I, I, I quit gaming or whatever. Right. Uh, eventually. And the name was like Frisky was no longer associated with gaming. And I said like, Oh, you know what? I want to change a career in like this whole EDM world. Um, in this like years of like me like raving and stuff, I was always doing like these free hug signs and like, you know, I was like literally <laughs> holding totems, like free hugs, wore nothing but free hugs, pants, free, like they said free hugs everywhere, free hugs, shirts, hand <laughs> off, like free hug like stickers, just, just, just free hugs. Yeah. yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> just free hug stuff. Right. And then one day I was like, you know, when I said it, I was like, okay, 
Like, let's let's simmer down. We're no longer gaming. We're no longer making money off this stuff. You know, I, I just quit it altogether. I don't want to do this. How do we proceed and make maybe like rebrand, make EDM mm-hmm. a career, though? Right. So I'm like, you know what? I already have my rave name. Fuck it. We're going to own it. That's what I was given. My buddy. I love that kid to death. We're still friends to this day. We've been friends for like the last 10 years, man. Uh, we go to D.C., Las Vegas every year, bro. And uh, he saved me through some crazy shit, bro. Like, you know, so like, I'm like, I'm like okay. Some crazy DC Las Vegas. Not even, bro. I got kicked out of a hotel once. And uh, because apparently like, I got in Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah. And uh, Vegas I, I got story. kicked out. It was, it, was very, it was like very innocent thing. Like, I didn't do anything. It was more like he didn't. I haven't been to Vegas yet. But I, it it's screams yeah. like trouble. My buddy said I could stay with him. And it turns out that the roommates were like, oh, you didn't ask us for our permission, bro. So he can't stay here. I'm like, bro, like my bags are here. Like, what? Damn. He's like, no, you need to just leave. And I'm like, bro. So I left to go sleep in my car. On the way, my car, my boy Michael, the one that gave me the word, the name Presky, mm-hmm. he's there. He goes, Manny? He's like, he my, just met you outside. Yeah, just randomly, so bro. He's in your car. I, I was about to go sleep in my car. And he, and he was walking, yeah. he was walking in. And he's like, bro, what are you doing here? Man, I can't wait to hang out with you. You're going to like the after party. I'm like, bro, I don't even want to talk. I just got kicked out of this and this. He's like, no, you didn't. Staying with us. I'm like, bro, <laughs> yeah. oh, like, you meet people like that, bro. This EDM community is just like, yeah. it's like that. That's, and if you haven't had a good experience like that, then you need to search again, bro. You're not the right people. Yeah, <laughs> you're in the wrong EDM community. <laughs> I, I know. I know what kind of EDM community. Yeah, that's the one you need to be in, right? Like, mm-hmm. so That's the one we're a part of. So I wanted to market myself and be like, you know, how can I do it? So I came up with the word frisky. And then I'm like, I wanted to take what I was already doing in the rave scene, giving up hugs. And like, you know, let's just market it. Frisky hugs. Is it available? Let's do it. Like whatever. And then, you know, one thing after another, bro, um, you know, brand deals, you know, fucking going to festivals, you know, marketing. Like I like, bro, when I tell you, you know how to market, I know how to fucking market, bro. But here's what it took. A lot of fucking money and a lot of handing out yeah, free yeah. shit. That takes. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars. You take a my- shit ton of L's to make one win. People think that it was easy for me to get to where I was at. It People was not give up. They want to win more. You- People want to win more, but like. You know how many shirts and shit I give out for free? How many buttons? How many stickers? How many like, dude, I give out so much free shit for mm-hmm. the first like fucking four years, bro. I was just giving out free shit. Not even just in one state, but I was traveling. I do. I go to 12 to 16 festivals a year. I was that came out of pocket. Getting your name out there. Yeah, that came out of fucking pocket, bro. Now I was not being like they see me now and they see where I'm at. Bro, I wasn't like this. I wasn't getting free fucking festivals. I was paying for all of these festivals literally to market myself. Very few see the hard work. Bro, I spent thousands of dollars and I I was literally like, it was rough, man, because I was like, I knew what I was losing. Mm -hmm. But I thought I saw the bigger picture. I'm marketing myself and I'm I'm creating a name for myself. In order to do that, I do have to give. In order to everything's worth it. Yep. Um, you know, and yeah, give to receive. And then now I'm at the point where like, okay, Frisky Hug was the game. It was it, right? But wh- how do we keep it pushing, bro? We can't just stay where we're at. Being stagnant is not a, not a good thing. So I was like, you know what? Let me create uh like a face uh, uh a YouTube channel. Let me mm-hmm. vlog. Let me be more. You know, like let me record. Let me do this. Let me do that. And then I got to the point where like I gotta be more than that, bro. Even even that. Always, let me create a yeah. podcast, bro. Room Let's fucking do. Let's Always fucking... room for improvement. Let's create a podcast, bro. And then, like I said, what is my ten year goal, right? My ten year goal is to eventually create an event. Like so, okay. at this moment, then my five year mark is to help. Oh, I'll help you do that in less than time. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> That's too long. So I know, but I'm not gonna use the word "festy hub podcast," nor am I gonna use the word "frisky hub podcast." At this moment, I just created a new uh, Instagram What's account the about. Brand? It is gonna. It's called Festival Hugs uh, Productions. Okay. Okay. Sounds hug, huggable. Still huggable. Still in the in the you know like like, like blaze. Still in the. What if you got like a? I don't know. I kind of see that going with like. A, man, I should charge for these. Um, <laughs> almost like, like a bear, like a big stuffed animal. Mm-hmm. Maybe they make that like the logo. Eat something. Yeah. You know something that like people do want to hug. Maybe like a, like what is it like? They got that that uh, panda bear Pokemon that like hugs a lot, mm-hmm. you know. But something different, more you. Maybe maybe more candy. <laughs> something I've seen like yeah. that. My homegirl got like gummy bear uh, production. Uh, gummy bear, I forgot. Gummy milk. Mm-hmm. It's called it's like a little gummy bear. And yeah, you, you can do something like. Yeah, oh, and, I like I like that. We always gotta keep it pushing, man. And like, I, mm-hmm. and, I, and, and and even when you think that you're doing well, 
and you're like, okay, I'm like, I'm at a good place. This and this. Now you should always think about the next step. And even though I'm not even completely like, like even the podcast is it's great. And, and you gotta it, it, keep beating yourself. But I'm, I need to, yeah, I need to be on top of that. Even like mm-hmm. I can continue this and do more, right? Like, mm-hmm. and it's hard on the body. It's hard on the mind. Uh, it's hard on motivation. There's and hard 24 determination. hours in the day. A lot, man. But like, you know, I got a real job too, you know? So like on top of that, like I, like I, I do surgery like uh-huh. <laughs> during the week. So like, I can't, so like, even though I got about these festivals and these events, I got to always. You ever think, rescued anyone out of festival? Uh, I can't, I, I, I stay, I stay out of it, man. Like. <laughs> Uh, clear it out <laughs> bro i i am more than just two beers in, in you know at these festivals I, i've picked up a girl one time over yeah. the shoulder <laughs> she just like fell out right there and i was like this ain't good <laughs> yeah dude i, I <laughs> everybody move Woo. yeah i Take am i didn't even know who she was i'm usually very very drunk at these festivals bro and i i just cannot <laughs> bro imagine being drunk carrying someone over your shoulder <laughs> yeah a complete stranger <laughs> like what are you like what yeah, so like, so like, so I just be on autopilot a lot of the time. And, and people don't understand is actually like stuff like seizures and shit. You really can't do much except like put them on the side, so like mm-hmm. they don't like you know, so they have to, they they don't have like a hard time breathing. So stuff like, like you really mm-hmm. can't be like doing much anyways. So it's like you're mm-hmm. kind of just helpless regardless. So helpless. I don't know shit. Exactly. So it's like for me, I right- know is take someone. <laughs> Take someone that knows better <laughs> than I do. Yeah, I mean, connect those two dots. <laughs> I mean, at, at some points, right? Like, what, what can you do? CPR, mm-hmm. like you know. But I try to stay. I try to stay away and let the people who are literally designed to be helping you mm-hmm. help you. Now, if like you ever done one of those jobs at a festival? No, no, I don't. Uh, my buddy actually, uh, he owns the company that actually does the medical uh, staffing like the for, medical for the festivals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's dope. So, like, if I ever want to create a festival, man, I I know the people. That's important. That's yeah. an important thing to have. Yeah, so he's got doctors on hand. He's got EMTs and stuff like that. And he's got medical vehicles. So critical. So like, critical. he's got all that shit in storage, mm-hmm. ready to go. Whenever I got it, you know, he's like, bro, you fucking start a <laughs> festival. I need to be your medical guy. Done. Bad. Done. Simple. Simple. And that, that's that's part of the part of the puzzle, man. You got to put all the puzzles together. And eventually my only piece of the that I'm missing a lot of it, a lot of big pieces is I don't have the like experience or the knowledge, right? So it's like for me, it's like it's a stepping stone. I, I need to I need to keep climbing on. I just don't know a lot of stuff. School of hard knocks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I went. School of hard knocks. That's sure. what you learn there. Huh? How to throw events? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I took the biggest hits. I I fucking found myself with zero dollars. Found myself with negative dollars. I. Uh, uh, had like CDJs and then like one stop working and not have a backup. You know? Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Like, what uh-huh. if you don't have a backup? You are fucked. Yeah, those are the yeah. It's like some people have like the setup there, but then like if something happens, you know, let's just say like crazy, crazy scenario, all of them die. Then what do you do? That's why I got another thing. Yeah, always keep it in the car. Uh, you never I, know. I have to if if both go out. Then like I right, bet I quit. <laughs> he just wants to bet to be yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. And, uh, we're rescheduling at that point. Yeah. But like everything should be working. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'll just to, like show you a little more like hands on. I love that man. We'll put like a little GoPro on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interview for later. Just see everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Frisky got the desk. <laughs> oh, Roger, <laughs> like some more. <laughs> you gotta go through the crowd. Yo, excuse me. I mean, make it. It would make for a great uh, YouTube video. We too, had like, like cinematic music to it. <laughs> yeah, cr- creating an event behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. That'd be so funny. A lot of the times, I'm just kicking people out. Mm. <laughs> it's like, who are you? Go away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like get out. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I mean, at this point, you're just so like. I feel like you, you've been doing this for so long that it's like secondhand nature to you. I'm so of, yeah. strict and like I'm like I'm nice, but like I have to be a dick mm-hmm. to like do my job. And then like sometimes I feel like bad about it afterwards. It's like yo, like sorry I hurt your feelings. Yeah. Like that wasn't my intentions, but like understand like you weren't supposed to be there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I, I, one I, wrong move, yeah. like and the whole shit can like become an issue. You know, so like I leave the tech guys to the tech areas. I, I even try to keep away from like the stage as often as I can. I don't want to touch like any of their electronics. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, I've uh, it's actually funny because I I've been getting into the industry in different ways, just learning different things. Mm-hmm. Like 
I've done photography like first weekend I was here. Like, uh, you know, I hit up um, Justin from Enjoy. I walked, I walked walk yeah. into like the Celine and because, hey man, like, you got your camera? I'm like, yeah. He goes, could you take pictures for uh, Mark Knight? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, fucking, but... it, first week I'm here, bro, taking pictures and stuff. But like, I used to take pictures at like in Colorado just to kind of like, you know, I, no, technically I was taking pictures just looking like back there and kind of network and uh-huh. establish myself. And I was like, that's that's one good way to do it, right? Be, yeah. be more than the influencer, right? Because yeah. I, you know, influencers, you, mm-hmm. you only get, you're only gonna get noticed. Yeah, I need to be more than just a pretty picture or whatever, mm-hmm. right? And like, um, then another re- another thing was I, I was helping out like controlling the lasers, controlling the fog. Oh, you started doing, doing that? Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> I've gotta, done it a few times. Yeah, you gotta, it's at least for me. It's like it's new experience, and I need to know what the hell's going on. This gives me a bigger picture. So if I want to throw an event. I know what they're doing. I'm not. I stupid. found myself doing that one day for like Rey Mysterio. I feel like, <laughs> like they did like his little entrance. Yeah. He like, I like played it, played with the lights. Rey Mysterio, bro. Like, yeah. It's crazy where like this this industry and like just music in general mm-hmm. can take you. Right now, I do want to learn how to set up like the whole CDJs and like. I want to know how that works. Like, look, how does somebody set this stuff up? Like, where do I, what does everything plug into? Because I mean, if you're, it gonna... looks complicated, yeah. and I mean, it looks complicated. But once you connect the, it's literally connect this cable yep. here, and then this one here, done. It's so simple. It just looks crazy. Yeah. You know, essentially, that's like a that's a computer right there. Yeah, it's a expensive computer. That, that generates like high quality sounds and it does a lot of things you know it does things that like not uh you can't really do like with production like you could do like mixing and stuff like, yeah you do your things right there you're live. It, 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 nothing compares to it you've ever played on them i've never uh I've, never touched I, them? I've touched a i've touched a deck my entire life, yeah, I don't, I don't mix, man. I don't do any of that stuff. Oh, I only, only want to have you like play around with them, man. yeah. July 2020, I don't know what kind of decks they were, but my I got bit, I got uh, one of my followers and stuff was like, hey, man, you should come through and like hang out with us. So, like, um, I flew out, you know, never met this guy before. I'm like, sure, whatever. He was having a family barbecue and stuff, like, you know, they want to, they want a lake house, and there's <laughs> bougie you flew for, a, for a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> bro they had That's boats right. jet skis and he had a whole dj set up and but what barbecue food bro, it was like hot dogs and hamburgers ah, I know, but, ah, but it was it was july 2020 bro and like ah, i was hoping for like some bread nah, or something man, you know some barbecue you food <laughs> well i mean they weren't doing it for me like, they, they, they were doing, so my birthday falls in fourth of july so like it was like a fourth it's of, on fourth of july it's third of july so the it was like fourth of july barbecue. so you black out both things yeah yeah 100 like, percent. yeah they didn't have enough rooms in the house so everyone was like camping outside so that's how the bro set up my little tent bro Floor. <laughs> so it's like, yeah bro i bro when i tell you i was like crawling to my fucking tent bro i was like i'm done <laughs> that's the checkpoint <laughs> you know but like you know they're, they're followers at first man and then like now that's a fucking homie bro like that's so and that's, funny. that's what it fucking takes man everybody everybody on here like we're just following each other I, uh-huh. but bro i fucking like like i knew you online before i met you in person you know what i mean yeah. like you know and like now we're, look at us we're, we're hanging I out you before i knew what you i just i remember like the name because yeah, yeah. like i read a lot of the names very quickly more than like i see faces so like a lot of it, you ever get like a lot of people just saying like, "Hey, you remember me?" Bro, like, don't even start that shit. And I hope they, and I hope and they I'm like, no, <laughs> I really don't. I, you know, and so then it, like sometimes they get mad, and it's like, dude, like I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, but like, I was, I was blacked out. Mm-hmm. You know, like I don't even know what I said to you if like we had an interaction. Yeah. You know, so I could have said like, "Hey, I'm gonna give you a million dollars." It's like. I don't know how true that is because I was fucked up. But yeah. it's like, uh, unless they show me a, video, a lot of the times, I'll be seeing like videos. Uh-huh. And then it's like, hey, that is me. And, it, and it's okay. like, if they show, oh, wow, I did that. I will say, if they, if they show me a picture of us together and they're like, oh, this is us. Remember, I'm like, now I do. Um, but I, I feel like a lot of like the people who like watch my stuff and like, you know, you my, remember experiences. Yeah, yeah. You got We got to have a moment. Exactly. And that's what I remember. And I, I had that moment. conversation with a, with a guy yesterday who kind of got mad and 
And he was like, you don't remember you me? You shouldn't get mad, man. But... And then he kind of like walked away. And I was like, no, like, listen, like, what did we do? And he's like, oh, no, I just said, what's up? And, well, like, I'm never going to remember you. I told him straight up, <laughs> you know, I'm never going to remember you. <laughs> I told him and he just looked at me like, what the fuck? And yeah. I'm like, I remember experiences like, you know how many people a day you meet mm-hmm. essentially like at the club, like it's sold out. You could meet like a thousand people in a night. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and a lot, a lot. I, dude, that's that's a lot of people. A thousand people in a yeah. span of like four hours. It's funny because actually one of my followers literally the other day was like, hey, do you remember me? And, so like that. and I'm like, oh, OK, I am gonna be honest, bro. Like, no. Okay. But I don't want to lie to you and say yes. You know what I mean? And I think that's fucked. And, and I see people like, do yeah, that people sometimes. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, go, he, goes, he goes, oh man, all's forgiven. He's like, I'm sure you like me, like thousands of people. Sometimes you know? I say, yeah, but I don't remember their name. I remember them, but yeah. not their name. And sometimes they pull that up. They're like, yeah, you remember me? Then what's my name? And I'm like, man, I don't know your name. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, you know, at least for me, <laughs> they be calling me out sometimes. So for me, I don't know what it is also. Um, if you show me your Instagram page, uh-huh. I remember you. Like, oh, a lot. Shoot, I know who a you lot. are. I know who you are. But bro, but they, if they tell me like their name on the Instagram and like out, out loud, I'm like, I don't know who that is. I'm Very sorry. Rare. But show me your profile picture, bro. And mm-hmm. you do that. I'm like, I know who the fuck you are, mm-hmm. bro. Because that's when you're you, big on well, like Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you because people when people reply, people comment. I interactions. I remember that. I remember that that picture saying this. Right. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know what the names. I don't really read like the names. I thought yeah. I look more of a picture. Very person. rare. But yeah. like it happens. Yeah. Picture. You're very. Sites. yeah yeah exactly man i have to have that like interaction stuff and i'm I, very like hands-on like yeah yeah up in person and sure. and i always appreciate the people who take time out of their day to interact with me so whether mm-hmm. it's in person or whether it's like on my Social pages media. that that means a lot to me so i i make a mental note you know I'm like hey like remember this person That's they're this very person, yeah you know, same I do the same. It's like, hey, this person's going out of their way. I, I normally do meetups every every festival. festival. I do I do a meetup, so it makes it easy for everybody to kind of like get mm-hmm. to take a picture together, meet me. We should collab on some of those. Oh, I'll yeah. be doing some of that with like artists. I'd be completely down, man. I, I I've done collabs. I'm I've been mostly doing a lot of the collabs with like Radiate the app. Mm-hmm. So I'm one of like their influencers. Are you working so, with like any like DJ? Mm, no, I don't think so. Let's get you involved with that. Definitely. I can do it, man collective of like everything and, and i normally do it like the media center for countdown i was like you know what i'm not gonna people are like oh you should do a meetup but i was like i was going through so much shit going on man and like you know i so i said just to not do it this one time and honestly it was kind of like a blessing in some way because i mean they both are a blessing they both have their benefits but like when i didn't do it people will recognize me in person and i was like hey man talk to me about you let's talk about you like you let me know more about you so i have a more memorable experience mm-hmm. when we're talking let me make sure I'm following you back. Like I, you know, be like, yeah, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, follow them back. You know, we, we, oh, we talk, yes. we talk for like a 10 minutes. A I feel instance. like that meant more like me taking the, the 10 minutes out of my day because they took the time out of their day to literally run from across the stage. Cause they saw me. Uh-huh. You know? If you're willing to come. That's love, man. That's love. If you're willing to take time out of your day. I'm willing to take time I'm out of my day. Exactly. So, exactly. I feel like that meant more, and like I, I love my meetups. Don't get me wrong, a but like, lot, the, yeah, yeah. So I, I made sure, like, and it felt nice, man. Just Give him take, a free shirt. You know, <laughs> I only have smalls left. That's why I haven't like been giving out like too many shirts lately. Um, the shirts that I do give out, they're we make be, our shirts. I do too, right, right over there. You got a thingy too, yep. dude. It was vinyl press, mm-hmm. the heat press. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's so cool. yeah, yeah. So I'm right now making the ones for nocturnal sounds. So I, m- I made all their shirts last time. So I'm making them a new, like another 12 pack of shirts and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm making those shirts. Uh, yeah. I make some new ones. We're good. We're doing some Royal blue with some like uh, yellow. Okay. Uh, that way they love, they love the color. So I'm like, all right, we'll, we'll get you guys. I got everybody's sizes. So I, all I got to do is, is, is I just literally got the last pair of shirts today. That's like, I want to check that out. Like after all that. Yeah. So like, um, I made my roommate a couple of the nocturnal ones, but, um, Diego was like, nah, nah, bro. Who's your roommate? Uh, Eric Toro. He's uh, a part of Nocturne? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. I got to Kind of, He's kind of like the face and stuff. He does all the uh, talking and managing for them while they play their, <laughs> <into> their events. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, I guess I guess if you were like, to talk about it, it's like the... You like, didn't go to the warehouse yesterday? He was there. He was at, he's no, at the table. I, bro, I saw you. <laughs> That's how we set this up. <laughs> Where did you think we set this up, bro? <laughs> 
we did. We did. Yeah. We did. We did. We did, we did, we did by the stage. Yep, by yeah. The you stage. remember? You remember? Right? I yeah, was. Bike I was no. I was lit. Yeah. <laughs> I was sauced. I was. I was sauced. I woke up with a headache still. Oh my god! I I definitely woke up with a headache today, man. Yeah. Fuck it. Because I was hanging out with Lance at the at the event. And... The sound was like off too. It was bleeding. Really? Yeah, I wrote that in my notes. <laughs> yeah, because I was like dissecting. Because they told me like, oh yeah, like we want you to like help with like some events here. So I just went, mm. and then like, oh, is that why you were there yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, there's you have all you can drink too. And I was like, I guess I'm not driving today, so. <laughs> And I started drinking, and then I started writing notes, and I was like, "I right, sound bleeps here, here. Yeah. <laughs> this is off. This, this." And I was like, "You should turn off. Like, they should lower this. This get changed." Yeah. And then, yeah, like within that, all that, I remember, like you told me about the, yeah. let's do this, and yeah, shortly after that, I was like blacking out. I remember hanging out with Envy for like, yeah, for the I... most part, I was. I was. Songs. Yeah. I can't tell you a single song that was played. <laughs> <laughs> I heard "Do It, Do It" though. <laughs> <laughs> <Or whatever. laughs> we do that even, yeah, even though you didn't hear it, you, you, like, heard, it, you, you still did, yeah. heard it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it. I, yeah, I, I, dude. Yeah, I, I, I was, wasn't even, bro. I wasn't even gonna go out yesterday. Was I? Did I look bad? You look fine, man. Okay, bad. Maybe you always just look like that. <laughs> <laughs> did I look like this? No, you look actually you do looks over today. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah. I was like, bro, that's so that, that, I, I hate it when I'm like there working and everything and like people be talking to me. And it's like, and I'm like drunk. I'll just be, they'll be like, yeah, I gotta talk to you on some business. And I'm like, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's just tomorrow, not the time nor the place tomorrow. right now, man. They're like, nah, it's real quick. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. If you don't have patience, then yep. I'm like, I'm sorry. Cause like I'm not here to make a quick buck. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that we even set Fuck up the, the I'm surprised we set up the podcast yesterday because normally I just ask like, hey, do you want to? And then we set it up another day. Like, hey, we'll just talk well, about it. I was on the go. And you then, were, man. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up and it literally said the alarm said that. And I was like, yeah, this is important. I got to do this. <laughs> and then I just went. I just went here. I just woke up, came straight here. I got a start of the day. Yeah, but so I wasn't even planning on going out yesterday to Nitty Gritty. I, I honestly was just gonna stay home, play some video games, just fucking whatever, bro. And uh, you know, the, everyone's telling me like, oh, go to Nitty Gritty, this and this. I'm like, bro, like I haven't like I never set up my name for the guest list. So I'm like, you know, fuck it. I'm like, money's not really an issue, anyways. So I'll just fucking pay it off pocket. Mm-hmm. And I get there. Um, and then Lance bumps into me. He's like, bro, no, no, you're, you're at my table. Like, don't even fucking. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, don't even sweat it, bro. Fucking, I already had like three bottles there making mm-hmm. me drinks. He goes, no, 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 you pay for shit. He's like, you're, yeah. you're good with me, bro. And then he, he introduced me to a bunch of people. I think he goes, oh, by the way, you got to meet Jordan, by the way. Like, you know, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, go, I go to Jordan, you know, Jordan's like, He's like, uh, "What's your drink at?" I'm like, "Oh, I left it at the table." He goes, "No, no, no, no." Yeah, He's like, "You get, you get yeah. another, you get more drinks." You gotta have a drink in your hand at all times. Yeah, yeah. So he's over here pouring me shots, bro. Yeah, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna get fucked up, you, dude." You, you were slipping yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so like, no gas slips. Yeah, no, bro, they nothing. were nah. no drink in your hand. Bro, but I tell you, they were taking care of me, bro. They, they good people, oh, man. Oh, yeah, they were taking care. Of me. Yeah, so that, I was That's very sure. the, the hospitality man that that came out of those two. I was like, dude, I, I I have such a good impression right now because before it was like, oh, I'm like I'm at the gale. Most of the times it was like the Monday. They're great people. Yeah, yeah, like two days. The yesterday, do it, bro. Yesterday left such a good impression on me, bro. And I was like, dude, I I really want to support like this, you know. So this is this is amazing. I'm they had they showed just created hospitality. You know, like I want to be a I want to be a part of this. You guys are you guys are representing a good a good thing. I think you know so. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, then like you know, I hit up. Uh, I didn't realize it was CeeLo. That we were, Cello. Is it? Shut up. Is it Cello? It's Cello. Here I go again. You owe me one. Here I go again. <laughs> I, uh, I hope he watches this. He owes. He owes me a few. He. <laughs> he might, love the kid. He might be watching this. He's gonna watch it. I'll, yeah. I'll send it to him directly. Well, I'm having him on the podcast too. That's why I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And then I. Uh, but I didn't know it was him. Um, that's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know it was him. But I was like, hey, I was like, hey man, you look like fucking familiar, and I can't point it out. I'm like, were you at Countdown? He's like, yeah, I was at Countdown. I'm like, all right, man, I think maybe I saw you or something there. And um, anyways, I get his Instagram or whatever, and like he puts on he puts on cello. He's like, oh, you're already following me. And I was like, oh man, this makes sense. 
I'm like, you know, I've been following you since um, you played, I think it was under Lizzie Jane for that Tampa Sunset Music Festival. Uh-huh. He goes, oh, shit, yeah, that was a great set, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, yeah, man, I was there for it. Like, that was dope. That's when I followed you. And then um, he introduced me to his friend. He's like, oh, this is my boy, by the way. And, you know, they're, they're, they're talking to each other, like, first name basis, obviously, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, like, I shook his hand, whatever. And at first, I was thinking, like, oh, this is probably, like, his manager or some shit, right? And then he, uh, and I'm like, hey man, we want to add Who each other. Who was it? Burn Ezekiel. <laughs> oh, Burns. That's the boy. Yeah, right. fucking sweet man. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never met him in person, right? And uh, when he told me who he was and stuff like that, uh, I followed him. He followed me and stuff like that. I'm like, hey man, I would love to also have you in like the podcast. Let's fucking yeah, let's get three people. Yeah, let's, great. yeah, let's get three people in this bitch. Like, I don't even care. Um, and you know, it, it, one thing, man, th- these two individuals, super sweet, man. Like, I, I, I just have. To, they're good people. They're yeah. good people. And like I meet a lot of like DJs that mm-hmm. like do and throw events for themselves. But like it's what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, I just even artists, bro, I can't even put the damn name to the face. Well, how do you expect me to like like anyone really? Like like these guys, I like actually see their sets but, and but I still that's don't also good because like people be seeing stuff like a lot of people see things like with their eyes mm-hmm. first instead of like their ears or like by actions and like that's dope that like you knew them without seeing them and it was like you liked what they were producing yeah you know you like the art yeah and i told that term burns i was like hey man like like i was just at tampa for swarm set which mm-hmm. i never went to this I, okay so i i i want to see the burn um, burnzikio set and like i saw bro's fire loved it bro and then i literally left with it and this i didn't even see swarm <laughs> So just, which is the reason I, I was technically supposed to be there but one of my homies just lives like down the street and as we walked over to his house and we just drank some whiskey and um for the next hour because like i i got because they close at three yeah yeah so, so like, it goes on yeah for, like, so he really, went on. really long more than orlando yeah so like, he, swarm went on swim swarm went on at 1 30 i believe mm-hmm. and yeah it was like until three until three and um i was like well cool like swarm's about to come on i don't see never heard swarm i wanted to see swarm my friends are down the street. And I'm gonna get free liquor. I don't know. I mean, they were giving me free drinks there already, but like, and I don't. You have re-entry. Y- y- out do you do? And at the Ritz. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's why they like stamp your little thingy with the huh? with the glow in the dark thing. That explains that. Yeah. I thought that was like you just... I, I've only been there like twice, man. One, once to see uh, Cello. Uh huh. <laughs> Is that pronounced? Cello. Am I doing it wrong? Let me know, yeah, bro. It's Cello. It's cello. 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 Like Cello, but like with the Cello. Yeah. Cello. Okay. Um, and and that's what I was uh. So you got like a VIP band, the 21 and up band, and then you thought it was like a highlighter VIP. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I mentioned Cello. Just, I was going to say something about... God. Yeah, dude. Said, I, no, you said Cello because you said the only two times you've been yeah, there. Yeah, Cello and Burns. So no they, they both played. I told you the lead helps me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you. I'm always like this, but I don't take my Ritalin. I don't take that shit because it dehydrates me. I was like, I don't drink enough water. I'm always drinking beer. So, like, hey, bro, like, I don't know what to recommend <laughs> to you not taking your rid of him. <laughs> yeah, like, I bet. <laughs> yeah, bet. Nice, bro. Congrats. <laughs> you got this? <laughs> like, you good, though? You, you, you're doing Just like, that's awesome. But, like, is that okay? Like, you good making those decisions? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like, you said, I, I solved it by drinking this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's funny because I was talking to Eric because I, I, my roommate, I, was, uh-huh. I also introduced him to, uh, to those two, right? And I was talking to Dominique when she came over today for, for some brunch, and you know, I was let, telling, I was telling her like, oh, we hung out with so and so or whatever, and she's like, bro, I should have gone. Like, god damn it, she's like, I just hung out with them countdowns, so like, I would get to see them again, and. Um, Eric was like, bro, what are you guys like in love with these guys? I'm like, dude, their music's fire, bro. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't even know what yeah. they look like, and the music's fire, bro. Yeah, that's what like, a lot of... Do, uh, it has nothing to do with me, me, like, bro. Exactly. They have great fucking music, mm-hmm. bro. A lot of people, like, focus on branding and name, yeah. but it, like, sometimes doesn't even matter, like, how famous this person is, as long as, like, the content is good. Oh, exactly. If it's a really good song, and you like it, and you connect with it, you can fangirl or, or whatever the fuck you want, dude. Mm-hmm. They don't gotta be famous. And, exactly. and like some people don't understand that too you know you gotta have both to be able to like get to the top bro i mean people fanboy 
me all the fanboy fangirl me all the fucking yeah. time let me do it for once yeah, you know yeah. I, like, I like even that man fuck, right? like we, we, i like we, shit too we all exactly we all admire bro, art japanese stacks, bro i fangirl for shit like that yeah two, I like for, two for four dollars if you guys want it um, no, the one, website one is four bucks the, the website is Tama four flavors you <laughs> wait this is in japanese this is Korean like or something it's like middle eastern kind of the lettering is a little off. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Western continent. Yeah, that's that's. Well, you could buy them at foreign flavors. Thing below. Not sponsored. Yes, <laughs> I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll click it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you guys want to get and these. emerald leaf also right here. Click that one there. Foreign snacks. Emerald leaf. Delta eight. Use code blaze. Use code Blaze. <laughs> That's all I literally be smoking. I be smoking this and, and medical weed, and I I love life. I had I had the fresh even river. without weed. Yeah. I also love life. I had the fresh river yesterday. Makes it more fun. I had the fresh river on the podcast yesterday, and he was like, he's like, bro, can I smoke in this podcast right now? Because yeah. Like, he's like, because he's like, like all I do is smoke, bro. So I'm like, hey, bro, fucking yeah, I'm about to then spark this one up. Do it, bro. Who's like someone that you like? For example, let's just say like one of like the most like famous people that I've met. Yeah. Um. Or like have hung out with or had like a cool experience. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it depends. Like, I'm really close friends with uh, Steven Universe, the cartoon. But that's not even real. Yeah, the voice actor's real. Yeah, but Steven Universe isn't. Like that doesn't count. <sighs> okay. Um, uh-huh. Steven Universe is kind of famous though. The voice actor, I'm friends with him. The voice actor, yeah. Steven Universe is famous. Yeah, I guess the actor is not that famous if you think about it. Exactly. Yeah. So Steven. I know there has to be someone. Zach, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to call you not famous, <laughs> but you know. he he's he's he's, he's support. He's a, he's a supporter. That's a good question. I actually don't know who the most famous person I know or have hang out with. Like. I, I party with Wiz twice. Mm-hmm. That's mine. Yeah, I don't I know. I want to do like Kid Cudi and like Selena Gomez. That would be like dope as shit. Yeah. Like, I would love to. Like, I mean, I know, I, I, I know Thanos. Huh? Yeah, I know Thanos. Who? Josh Brolin. You ever see The Avengers? Yeah. Yeah, Thanos. Like, like the real thing, yeah, yeah, like the actor, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gave my mom literally like uh, ah, that's up there, that's yeah, up yeah. there. Um, he, like the real I, I got, I got mad at him, cool. I got mad at him back in 2020. Though. I didn't know his name, yeah, Josh Brolin. So I got mad at him at, at 2020 for my birthday because I wanted a shout out and he wouldn't do it. As Thanos, yeah, no, no, just like a shout out on his like um Instagram. He's got like five million followers. I was like, hey man, like, if you really Why cool. he didn't do it, that's what I fucking said. What was his reasoning? Yeah, give me one. He just didn't do it. Yeah. And you know, uh, you know where he lives. Let's get him. Yeah, yeah. We're coming for Burns and Thanos now. Actually, actually, do I have to, I, <laughs> no, no one say. I actually do. Yeah, I, I know his address and everything. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. But like, my mom would come with you. My mom's friends, so, like, she would get, she would kill me. They would fucking. She she got mad that I was because uh, I was gonna I was gonna call him out on Instagram and she goes please don't she goes like please do not she's like you're gonna make our relationship I'm, really bad I'm coming for him <laughs> get him I'm gonna get him only he gonna get mad dude you know who I wish he I gonna get mad because I got him <laughs> yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know man um I mean I I've hung out with Charlie's a couple times okay um I mean I don't say he's like famous he's kind of just like a YouTuber no I I've heard of him. okay I've heard of him. that's that. I wish I, I wish I knew people like like Billie Eilish or some shit. Somebody like actually like famous famous, you know? That'd be like, some, some, like I don't know with, but I don't know. Yeah, some class A celebrities would be nice. Some class A. Yeah. Like I thought with Borgor, like that's the boy. Um I don't know where he at now, but like that's something. I like it's I like, Borgor. I, that's I, I like Borgor, that's yeah. yeah. Music's okay. always fire. He's gonna be here in Gainesville on the seventeenth. I know that's like a two-hour drive, bro. Isn't it? One hour? Two, hour? two hours. Two hours. Oof. From here, it's probably like an hour and a half mm-hmm. to like hour forty. Is it hours. north or south? North. Okay. From here, yeah, because you're like on the west coast. 
Yep. Yeah, come. Come for the Protaxia show. I might. I might. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize I was already probably Protaxia. Bro, that one's, that one's doing really good on sales. Yeah. Like, they have, like, they're, they're, we're having, like, rats or it's like, yeah, really I, supporting us, I put like, it showing on, us love. I put it on my calendar. So, it's like, I'm, I'm definitely, it's definitely one of things, like, if, if, if like, the to Gainesville it. energy, like, they're showing us love. Dude. Okay. It is great. Like, yeah. I am, that's one of the very few shows that I'm, like, really excited for, you know? And it's, like, outside of my hometown, too. And, like, we're expanding as a company, too. Uh-huh. So, it's, like, it's, like, a lot. It's, like, it is, I'm not even from there, but, like, I'm hyped. To yeah, like, never, I've never, I've never I'm been there. So I, I wouldn't mind. It. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going, I guess. Um, It's just, I gotta. Last time we were there with Protaxia, they went to this place called The Range. It got so packed. That we couldn't even get in. When is it? February fifth. I don't think I have anything going on, and I have to. It's a Saturday. Yeah. What better day of the week? A... It's a whole college city. Like they're they're ready to like rage. Right. Putting it on my calendar so I, I keep track of it. And it's somehow so like you know yeah, like I I'm... do a lot of like yeah. base type of thing well i'll so be like, yeah you really do so it's like, but like, more like your got, brand well, and stuff. we got we got house <laughs> dope man we got a house too yeah it's kind of like, like the you... artist i manage is a house dj and it's like everybody's like yeah you just do bass and it's like dude i'm i'm, man- <laughs> I'm managing a house dj like i'm not just bass like stop <laughs> like that's that's what you guys see me as. Oh, no. <laughs> i'm the bass guy i got a question um, do you ever plan on like, or, or are you expanding outside of Florida, or do you? Plan- well, you've already done it outside okay. of Florida. Can you talk about that? Um, so like, uh, uh Hutch, uh, we met during COVID. Uh, they brought Pro Taxi out there to do a show, and he headlined in in California. So like, I got to like ship mm-hmm. ca- uh, Pro Taxi out there. You know, They're like, here's your plan ticket. You go headline over there. Like, he shredded that. Um, I went to South by Southwest with Shama Noel and like we parted over there. We made our name. We made a we made we made a great experience. That was a great trip. Yep. South by Southwest was like literally like walking into I like, was gonna go for the first time, but they canceled it. Picture walking into SoundCloud mm-hmm. with like a lot of SoundCloud. Right? Okay. If you were to walk into SoundCloud, it is South by Southwest. It was like the I most, love SoundCloud. I love that it's free. It's the, it was the this most podcast networking. is available on SoundCloud. I made sure like this was available on SoundCloud. Even you, better because everyone's on SoundCloud. I'm like, dude, everyone's on Spotify <laughs> for, for the most part. But if you aren't, you're but on SoundCloud. Like, SoundCloud's like where like you're seeing what's new. Mm-hmm. You know, Spotify is a lot of hype. I'm very surprised I get like as many views as I get on on SoundCloud. I'm like. Like y'all really Bro, be, SoundCloud's popping. like y'all really be like listening to podcasts on SoundCloud. Like SoundCloud popping. I'm like I don't give a fuck what you guys are listening Shout to. Shout out let, SoundCloud. Let me know what platform y'all are, y'all like to listen For to podcasts being in. Free. Yeah, yeah, and I will I will make sure that this podcast is available on whatever you like to listen to. Like I'm here for you guys. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like. Um, I give I, comments if, if you got any opinions. Yeah, definitely, definitely let us know because I'm like if, there, if there's definitely like a because I have a friend. I SoundCloud, added, YouTube, everything. I have a friend who like I added We're on. Gonna look at all. I, I took his, I took his phone. Like I added myself on his Spotify. I'm like, he goes, oh no, I, I listen to Spotify and or I listen to podcasts on another platform. I'm like, well, what is it? Because if 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 I don't know, what you need it, feedback. Yeah, yeah, bro. Because like feedback's I, important. I got this podcast. Even if it's bad, if someone tells me it sucks, yep. I I say thank you. I thank you. Come again. I want to like. It, let me try to make mm-hmm. it better. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's like if they uh, don't want to come back. Then it's like, damn, I fucked up. For me, every episode, man, I get better and better. Right? It's like, I don't cut people off as much anymore. I don't say certain words anymore. I don't try to really get too controversial anymore. I've already been like, already been getting in trouble for that kind of shit, you know. And right now, I'm trying to grow. Man, everybody always gonna get in trouble. For oh something. yeah, no, and you know, and I'm I'm trying to lessen my blow because I see how like dirty like this shit can get. The comment section get pretty fucking <laughs> dirty, bro. 
And I don't want to be on that receiving end, you know what I mean? a little boozy. (laughs) You saw that one video where it was like, yo, I was a little Nas ex, uh, like, like uncle or some shit, like some family. He's like, yeah, that's my nephew. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was like, he was talking about, like, calling him gay and shit. What's up? And he's like, (laughs) whatever the fuck you are. (laughs) And, like, the little kid's like, come on, let's go. (laughs) <laughs> like they be coming after people bro bro and, and like i was saying like earlier you know like some of these comic creators they're they're getting the shitty end of some of those x man and like it's great content and i get it but like you were like some of these people are brutal bro and i have been fortunate enough to not be receiving any of this hate ever like mostly ever usually when i get hate bro it's from another comic creator or some shit like just just they're they're the ones that like, calling me out you know is it like on their opinion type of shit? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't like the way you said certain things, you know? And so, like, I've been called out, honestly, more times than I can count by other content creators. So I, I try to lessen that blow, you know, by that. But, like, I don't know. I just read, if someone gives me feedback on how to improve, I'll take that. Mm-hmm. If they're just going to, like, hate and, like, yeah. not be constructive, I could give two shits. Yeah. You feel me? I'm trying to ha- listen to people that are trying to like yeah, help yeah. me. So it's like it's not like, people that are like trying comments, to bring me down. It's like the comments that are, that are like all they say is trash. I'm just trying to avoid that shit, you know? Like, stop, the, bro, like, they'll say trash, and it's like okay. And, and I'm not above blocking, bro. I, my block list is bigger than my 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 followers list. I promise you, I will block a hole real quick. A lot of the people aren't even real. They're just like fake accounts. What's up, brother? <laughs> chilling, chilling. How was your nap, Eric? Great. See, I remember him. That's yeah, why yeah. I just didn't remember his name. It's a, a face of nocturnal sounds, bro. What's going on? What's good, brother? What's up? What's up, what's what's up, up? man? Bro, I gotta go meet up my friend, boy. Hey, man. <laughs> bro, I had some dude. <laughs> now that he's cleaning his oh, hands. Man. Love you too, brother. He was like cleaning his hands. I just like had like a flashback of like yesterday's war. Cause like, bro, I, I was going through it. Oh, some dude. <laughs> I, I have no idea why I did this, but now that like I'm looking back at it, I was like, I probably it's, it looked probably pretty cool because like some dudes like oh damn like my hands are dirty now like I, i'm gonna go like wash my hands and i said put your hands up and i had a bottle of grey goose <laughs> and I, <laughs> there you go <laughs> and he goes i guess that would work yeah <laughs> i mean yeah technically it'll, stick it'll here. do bro i saw somebody literally go mid to the table next to us and they spilled all of the bottles what table were you at? I was in Lance's table, but the table next to us. Oh, damn. Yeah. Everything. Everything, bro. Orange juice, apple juice, the whole thing. It, happens, dude, that was it like, happens. I mean, it happens. nobody got angry by it. They were like, oh, they're like, you know, it is what it is. I'm like, oh, no, I fuck you up, bro. <laughs> but I can't, I not, I can't because I actually one time was fucking around and was dancing and shit with this girl. And we bumped into like our table, and like I spilled everything. So I can't, you can't say that shit. Like, but I, that's I, yours. That's your table, though. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you just take the L. Yeah. If it's someone else's table, though. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's, you're, buy, you're buying the yeah, bottle, bro. You're true. buying them the you, bottle. You will get assaulted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you gotta, I'm always careful when it's that's not my That's almost table. like borderline, like, that's like, I guess, theft. <laughs> you know, you just robbed me out of like yeah. all of the liquor. And depending who it is, right? Like, me. like, yeah, it's like somebody's paying for these bottles. Like, uh-huh. it's not free, bro. Like, somebody, like, it, it ain't cheap. Luxury ain't cheap. Like, I, I've been on the, I've been on the buying end, right? And these, like, you know, these bottles are a good two hundred fifty to five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm one hundred fifty. Because of getting. the experience, I don't want people getting mad and saying, "Oh, you're stupid for spending that." It's like I'm paying two hundred for an experience. Not for a bottle. Yeah, yeah exactly, bro. If I want, <laughs> I get to sightsee. It's pleasing to the eyes to be surrounded by a lot of people <laughs> and like seeing visuals and all this other shit yeah. that you don't just have at your house. <laughs> so yeah, two hundred dollars. I'm gonna spend it on the bottle. <laughs> yeah, and, and then like I honestly was. Uh, so yesterday's event, I actually went downstairs and I actually I have this. I'm like, I'm like claustrophobic, bro. I'm like claustrophobic. That's like, why I got a table. Yeah, yeah. So like, you I know, like I, went, my space. I, I, I was there and I told my buddy, I was like, I, I, I bumped into him at the at the rave and I was like, bro, I'm not feeling it. Like, uh, this ain't it, man. I'm like, I'm feeling hot. I'm feeling claustrophobic. I'm feeling stuffy. I don't like people touching me. I'm like, the festival? yes, no, yesterday, literally. Uh, the, the warehouse? No, before it was at the event downstairs. It's just too many people. I, I get. Oh, I, uh, nitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I get too. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm just gonna go outside. Like honestly, 
feel if I can like maybe take people, a little breather. Yeah, yeah, people can like get the fuck out of the way. Maybe people want to leave. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably not. You know. And um, because yeah. people love to get close, I don't like being they, close. They man. stayed. That I, that place stayed. Yes. Yeah, so, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like I'm just going outside. He goes, why don't you just go upstairs? I'm like, oh, I've never been like you know been twice at the guild, bro. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, like um, you're so new. I just got here last month, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yeah, November. Know. I got here in November. So. Mm-hmm. So he goes, oh, just go upstairs. I'm like, all right, cool. Did you come to the AT Alien show? Oh, you missed out on that one. <laughs> but how was the Cave On show? Did you not go to Cave On? <laughs> I don't even know what I've been to. What but... shows of ours have you been to so far? <laughs> I don't think I have. <laughs> Damn, we got to change that. I've been to that Mark Knight show. I've been to. Um, John Summit at, and I've been to the Guild one. I went to. Oh, I've been there like on a Monday. I went on a Monday. Mm-hmm. And it was like after the Halloween one. It was uh, dead, dead, bro. Yeah. And I was talking to. I, I, I was. <laughs> it's not the crowd, people. Yeah, and and it's even harder like on Mondays, man. <laughs> Nothing but love, but I I've been part of like the team to like throw the events on a monday like we partnered i partnered up with like the monday guys it's hard man and it, it's hard uh, but we still did it and uh we managed to successfully bring out like 850 people mm. on a monday that's good man yeah you know it's doable it's doable. like a lot of, a lot of the people there it takes like, hard like, work but it's a lot of people there are like the college students right you know like that's who you got to bring in because like, that's what i bring bro i'm still yeah. young dude i'm 28 you yeah, know bro, i didn't like, say that <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, like, for me, man, like, I, it's so hard for me to go out on a Monday when I, I know I got work at 7 in the morning on the other side of town, you know what I mean? And yeah. I'm like, that means I got to be up by, like, 5 o'clock in the morning to make my What my days do you like going out, then? I go out only on the weekends. So, like, we're, like, a Friday, Saturday. Are Thursdays particularly tough for you? I can do Thursday, but I've already been working all day. So, I mean, but I, I do Thursdays. I can do. Now that now that I have a, my job, I only work Monday through Thursday, so... Surgery? Mm-hmm. Yep. Literally did it last week. Just uh, so I was dental surgery, so I was just pulling out teeth. Oh, all teeth. You like shit. doing that? It's um pulling them out. I'm so used to it. I've been doing it for so many years. <laughs> yeah, we got like smelly breath. It happens. We all wear masks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we all wear a mask. It's funny because people will be like, "Can you get a mouthwash?" Like I just don't trust myself. I'm like, bro, we're wearing a mask. Like, you think I'm gonna? You think I can smell your shit right now? Yeah. I feel like you should have just been like, I've smelled worse. You did. <laughs> take, take, you know? take away. Oh, yeah. You need mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you <laughs> you dirty. You yeah. Throw the mouthwash at me. Whore. It's like you tell them, I smell worse. And then you smell it. Like, Yo, like, Yo, you broke the right. record, bro. I'm sorry. You need that mouthwash. We are. <laughs> God damn. That's so funny. Man. I, I, I have some fun with the patients, man. Patients are patients can be funny, man. I did make a girl cry the other day. Oh, oh. She wanted her goddamn tooth back. I was like, nah, like this is some biohazard shit. Got blood everywhere. We like policy. Like I just yeah. started working here and I ain't trying to get you're fired, like, bro. Well, you you're doing your job at yeah, that point. I just started like straight up, if it's biohazard, it's biohazard. Like 100%, I'm, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> bro, she starts so sorry, crying hunger. and crying. And she's you like, didn't lose your tooth. You had it removed completely different. Yeah. <laughs> you and, know, she probably wanted like tooth fairy money. And then she she looked at me, and she's like, What the fuck are you gonna do about it now? Like, look what you're making, like look what you're making me go through. And I'm like, listen, I'm just following instructions, dude. And she storms out of the clinic crying. And I was like, I'm gonna tell you, man. Like, I'm not technically not like allowed to disclose anything other than that. Yeah. Just of pauses and stuff. I but... mean, but that that happens, dude. I see I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I literally see that. Dude, and like honestly, like, I deal with bullshit yeah, like I, at my job. Everybody yeah. deals with bullshit, but it's mm-hmm. it's the rules. And I'm not gonna you know, it's question. for safety. Yours is like way more serious than my cases, because like you got that's bio. You said it's biohazard. It's biohazard at that point. It, That's all you need to we're know. We're talking infections, stuff like that. Biohazard is blood. That's all so, you need to know for exactly, you to like bro. say like I'm not about straight up no. I love, bro. I just started working there and I love my job already, bro. I love the people I work with. Like they're good, fucking amazing. Good. I have nothing but a great thing to say about this job. I'm not about to lose that. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Like because you want biohazard you're material. You're doing your job. Yeah. Bad. I mean, you did it right. I'll I'll condone. <laughs> you know, the homegirl cry. I'm, 
Sorry. <laughs> See you next week for your trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, these kind of patients, man, they get mad, they get mad, bro. They go back for a minute. Like, I, I'm, so I'm used to like military. They always come back. Bro, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm used to like military patients, right? So like, like you have to come back. There's no like, if yeah. that's butts, like I will call your superior. You're coming back, my dude. That's how it is. That's how it is, bro. You don't have a say or nothing. But There's you got like shiny teeth though? No, bro. No? No, no. These guys, they care less. Oh, uh, so that's why you got to be on them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, you know, it's like routine. Like, we, like you got to get checked yeah. up. Yeah. Like, but I tell you, man, for, for soldiers that get chucked up every fucking week, they don't got good teeth, man. Yeah. Like that. Some of them do. Some of them have, like, great teeth because they do what they're told. But a lot of these people, like, they go home, bro. They don't they have a brush of teeth off. again. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can get some toothbrush, bro. Damn. Some of them are like that. That was, like, 50% of them. And the other 50%, like, like super on it, bro. It's like part of the routine. They got it, bro. It's like, but some of these people, man, like they. they a lot like, of people just like slack off because I remember there was a time that I was like that. Now I'm brushing my teeth like every day and shit. But there was a time, I guess it's like, essentially like almost like a depression type of thing where like I'm just like lazy and yeah. like I don't like doing shit. So it's like the less I have to do, the better. And like I'm just trying to get by through life. Yeah, dude, and I feel, you know. I feel that right here. I, feel that right here. <laughs> I was, we've, we've all yeah, we've been, been there, there. hundred percent, bro. And, uh-huh. And, and I hit the heart. <laughs> and right here, bro, because like, it's funny. <laughs> but it's like, now look at you, you're getting up and you're doing shit. And that's why I love having a job, man, because it gives me like a reason to wake up in the morning and do my morning routine, uh-huh. which normally consists of hygiene stuff, like getting ready for the day, looking good, shaving, brushing your teeth, like all that stuff is done in the morning. Although, um, best time to brush your teeth if you're gonna brush it once every single day. It's yeah. better to do it at night. So interesting, not F- the morning. Why F- F- no uh, fun fun time? What do you I call always it? do it every morning. No, it's and really- like at night, like after I eat. And shit. So at night when you go to bed, your um your body actually starts producing less saliva. So all the bacteria, all the food that you've been eating all day, it stays there, and there's no saliva to protect your teeth from all the bacteria. Okay. So that's why if you brush it at night, then you have no bacteria to really worry about. But if you That's do it, great. Yeah, so if, you, great if you do it in the morning, you already have so much saliva getting produced all day that it's already protecting your teeth anyway. You learned that in college, in college, obviously. I did go to college, but not for dentistry. I actually went to college with something else. When did you learn that? After I that? actually learned that from the doctors I worked with. I was about to say, there's no way you learned that in like middle school. Or high school. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was like, that's not like, you know, I that's wish, not common knowledge do, at all. I do wish my parents uh, <laughs> like, like were more strict about my hygiene, bro. Like, come I on, mean, guys. yeah, yeah, it's super important. You know, like it's I, bro, important. I I have 13 fillings in my mouth, man. Like, come I don't on, even guys. know how many I have. Like the brother up with a toothbrush. <laughs> it's almost to the point where, but like, I get why like they had to like not be honest because like at the same time it's like they could only be honest so much before they start pushing us away. You know, bitch. I was three. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is what it is, man. You know, they'll still like it is what it is. Oh no! You, like you probably yeah. brought some like rage tantrums. And, like oh, you, don't you know, know you probably like, right though. <laughs> like you remember what no, you no, did that, at two or three? Bro, that's Fuck right. No. Bro, as, a, as a kid, I do remember. I, was, I had yeah. anger management problems. You feel bro. me? So it's like she told you brush your teeth. You probably get mad. You, you're right. And like you don't even remember that because like you don't remember all three hundred sixty-five yeah. days of. When you were three years old or four, five, three, you know, yeah, yeah. you remember experiences. But I, I do, I do know myself, man. And you're and like, honestly, yeah. I had, I've, I've always had anger management problems all the way until I was like 21, bro. Like, yeah, like that entire time I had anger management problems, bro. Like, you're just I, growing and learning, like, hey, yeah, as an adult, man, it's, it's just crazy. And I, and I think it's you gotta acknowledge you're not always right. It might be all the things that I've taken without my life, like, throughout my life, I've been more <laughs> calm and more like not so crazy. Like, it's part of life. It's part of life. Okay, we all go through that, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I, I feel like all these experiences that we've had, especially mm-hmm. I think raving one hundred percent has helped me become a better person. Oh. Because like I used to have such anger problems, bro. And like now I look at myself and I was like, how did I let myself be like this? Mm-hmm. Look at me now. You just didn't know better. Yeah, you know. The kid doesn't know how to walk. No, fuck a kid. I was 21 with anger management <laughs> problems. You know, but like, it's like, look at me now. And I'm like, you're learning a yeah. lot of other shit that like you don't realize you, you're like not having time to like learn those things until mm-hmm. like later on. Because like you're learning certain things at a certain rate. You know, some things you learn faster and like you only have 24 hours. Yeah. You know, so like it's about like 
I know like through what you're telling me, there is a time where like you took time to like think about yourself and how you wanted to become I, better oh, because yeah, you were tired of like where you were at. I'm always every single year, man. I try to be a better person than I was oh. last year. And it's funny because I talked to uh, some of my friends and honestly, I don't even know why they stayed with friends with me for so long. Like uh-huh. I, looking at who I was back then, I'm like, man, like I'm, and they were also like, no, mm-hmm. no better either. Like, and I feel like maybe we're all better than ourselves. Yeah. You. Yeah. And like, um, you know, there's a lot of doubt in things we do and things we say. Sometimes mm-hmm. we think like, oh, you're never going to make it. Not because you can't, but because like. Probably like what you're doing now is yeah. going to make it. So you got to change something up to make Even, that person see that yeah. like, yo, you're going to make well, it. You know, and, and I've been doing really well. Like, so like, uh, fortunately for myself, like, I, like, like 2021 has been a really good year for me. And 2022 is getting even better, right? We're all progressing just like you are. I am as well in my own little world. Even though like we live two different like worlds and stuff that we're both trying to progress. Um, in my world, I'm I'm definitely trying to like uh, I definitely feel like I've been doing very well with everything that's been going on. You know, like definitely the podcast was a great step for me, um, and I definitely have such big plans for 2022 to just bring in some great. I know we're gonna. I could bring some of the artists that I bring through over here. I mean, yeah, man, bring them on, man. Let's have my. I was supposed to have <laughs> bro, funny story. So I was supposed to have Zoot Stool um doing yeah. it i was how he was gonna come over for do a in-person podcast and we went over that warehouse party right after the countdown and bro i didn't go to bed till 10 a.m oh, that was my party no no your party was the day before yeah new year's countdown okay so the new year's after oh the yeah after. The day after, yeah i actually did show up but i was so tired <laughs> and i just left <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make it to the door. Right, I, I I drove there and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I gotta go. Yeah, it was a little, was I heard it was pretty packed. Yeah, we was... went till seven in the morning or six. Yeah. We went till six in the morning. It's just so much work, man. Yeah, you know. So I I, I went back home and I just fucking. Went it was back. New Year's. I know, but I'm just tired. And then the next I'm day was old, another bro. festival. <laughs> so like, why not? <laughs> I know. I just I definitely went home and went to bed. You don't festival at every New Year. What you don't party at a festival every New Year's? Yeah, I do. I've been do to you? about yeah, I've been to about ten of them. Well, no, that's not every year. Every year since I started, <laughs> every year since I started, raving. Every, every started raving, even during COVID. Interesting. I've I've gone to I, like different I, places. I paid I paid twelve hundred dollars to party <laughs> during COVID. You ever been to like Puerto Rico? Mm-mm. No, highly recommend you go to like Puerto Rico or somewhere where there's like mountains for like a New Year's. It's great to like be at a top of like yeah. a mountain and just seeing like the whole island essentially like explode because you can see like a yeah. lot of the island when you're at like really really high areas and like you just see like so many fireworks like I have a video it looks crazy it, it, all the all the festivals I can are- only imagine like Ibiza what it would look like at, on a New Year. So since the day, since ever since the first day I started raving, bro, I have been to literally every New Year's festival, like like throughout like my like. You so know. you went to the other countdowns. Um. So I, so countdown didn't exist when I was in Cali. It was White Wonderland that Dominic was hosting. So, so they had the other countdown in California. Not when I was living there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like back back in the days, yeah. countdown wasn't a thing. I'm just thinking that like you just moved here from Cali. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Cali's, Cali's such a long time me. ago. Yeah, that so was. Cali, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Colorado, here. You know, so mm-hmm. like I've been living in all sorts of places. And um, so, I mean, I went to White Wonderland, which was an insomniac event. And then I did OMFG uh, in San Diego. And then I've done Decadence, Arizona, like five fucking times. Dude. I just That festival is one of my favorite festivals, Decadence, Arizona. Um, then I did Decadence, Colorado. Um, and I've done countdown here. Uh, and I think those are all the ones I've done throughout like the, um, the I wish they had it as hearing. it was originally supposed to be planned. Like, a lot of people wanted it there. Camp, like a camping thing mm-hmm. that would have, and the weather was nice too, which is crazy. That would have been it's nice weather. It was like, I thought it would be really cold, but no, it was pretty nice. I don't know what happened, but I hope they fix it for, for next year. I think the concept was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I I do wish that it was makes more it different from the other productions, but more performance stuff. I mean, you gotta so like as an event kind of thing. Yeah. I also like noticed that they used a lot of like the same materials that they used last time, mm-hmm. but it's like insomniac things that are like 
because i know like insomniac has their stuff but they also like work with other people to like get stuff so yeah. like i'm assuming they kind of like either they saved that here or they hired the same people mm-hmm. but they had like a lot more stuff at the other countdown like for oh, sure for sure the right. other countdown looked insane crazy and like the one that we got was like the bootleg version <laughs> yeah i'm sorry not shit talking no, no, yeah, but we're, it could have been i mean i was i was uh, it's constructive criticism um 100 percent. wish man. there was more because like it didn't necessarily catch the attention yeah. or like made me want to like keep staying main yeah. stage was kind of cool but it almost reminded me also a lot of the yeah. of the forbidden kingdom getting, stage yeah. that they had there because like bit, Miro yeah. played there and it was like the same thing but the other two were almost honestly like not all that plus like the usage of like the area that like insomniac the way i see it is like they take take or took i don't know because like they didn't do it on this one but like they i've i see them as like very decorative people putting like interaction zones and things like that and it's like i saw that at the other countdown but i didn't see it at the one we got oh man it was like we they oh they had a yeah. dude literally driving a spaceship and like yeah i think there's only like they one had little enclosed, they had stage that was like enclosed like in the dome like yeah it was the uh they only had like one photo interaction zone and it was like a little alien thing that you like see when you walk yeah, in which and, like, which that's like, it. And, and i get like for 69 dollars for one day i mean that's a pretty good deal you know what i mean I, mm, i've seen them do better yeah yeah. I've seen them do better. I mean, EDC Orlando 2019 was $140. You know what I mean? Like that was I remember whole, that. You know what I mean? So like we we know we could do better. I right? remember that. I mean, time has gone up, like prices have gone up since. And like, yeah, but I see them. I see like some festivals do like eighty dollars yeah. for like a day. And like, what was it? Seventy? Yeah. I mean, you know, so it's not like that far away. A ten dollar difference and like if they would have done more like day two did good yeah compared to day one but like i feel like way better the lineup also like oh, uh-huh. another like, thing is like the lineup was better but it was still like it still had a hole in it all right so i just had to go take a little potty break uh, but we are back bro you could have smoked while i was the rest of you <laughs> i mean i did oh you did <laughs> Nah, <laughs> but we were talking you, about- you like left really quick i did yeah man. like bro, you were I- gone for so long okay <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> so for like countdown man the uh the well, lineup was different right so like one of the things they, they did was like they took out 12 planet originally he was on the lineup they took, took him out they took him out from countdown he was supposed to play in countdown i thought he was still on the flyer and he I wasn't the flyer they, they, he didn't play a countdown though oh yeah, he was supposed to play Countdown. That whole thing with whatever controversy thing was happening is yeah. like they, they, good took, look. they took him out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, which, which and I Trampa think, got took him out too. And all that. Doing. Yep. So it was like, so that caused the lineup to be a little weird, whatever. So like not only did they take out the lineup, um, I'm but, surprised. They probably like that wasn't like too out there of like info at the same time. Yeah, it wasn't really like out, but like because like I thought he was still on it. He was on the lineup still until I think like he was in the the very last flyer, right? Mm-hmm. Except not the set time ones, but the one before that. Yeah, so he, he was on it. I, I like he was definitely like on that list. But yeah, like, and they had like sponsored ads on it yeah. and everything. So when they came to the set times, he wasn't on it. Interesting. Which I think good move. Which I think uh, messed up like the like how many artists were gonna be seen at that's what time? Pro- that's what some confusion happened with like the other club that like put them on. You know. Oof. Because it looked like they were still supporting, like Insomniac was still supporting it until like the set time, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like man. the way I saw it was like Insomniac has them right there, you know? And and that's and and honestly, I I don't know much, I don't know too much information, and I don't want to get like too much into it just mm-hmm. because there's it's one of those things like you know very controversial type of things. That not not for it's some not people, a good not way. for some people. For some people, it's like oh, it's not controversial. It's the, it's, it's black life. and white bro yep. like you know it is what it is mm-hmm. i just don't know the details because i mean some shit has, there, I, I always point out to this, this conversation which is like um i was at a rave one time and i wore a damn onesie with no pockets so here i am carrying all my shit in my hands my, my cell phone or whatever the hell i was holding my like my either with my pashmina or something i was holding my hand mm-hmm. 
brushed a girl's ass. She flips, bro, pushes me. And she's like, are you fucking sexually assaulting me? Da, oh, da, damn. Da, da, da. It was a whole deal. It makes a circle. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah, like, and then they come after you. I'm like, listen, I have no pockets. I have stuff in my hand. No, you fucking pervert. This and this, that and that. And I'm just like, this is this is how you cancel somebody, bro. This yeah. is it. You're doing it right now. Like, 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 I have done nothing fucked. wrong, bro. I'm sorry for whatever you're, you've experienced mm-hmm. in the past, but I have done nothing to you. Yeah. What is it, bro? Your word against mine. And you know yeah. what, man? Everyone's going to be back her up because she's valid. I'm not trying to say that, that don't back I her up. I mean, like, yeah, in a sense, like, she did get touched. She I, did and get I, touched, And I yeah. get that. And it's almost like, in her mind, like, it looks like you're lying. I know, right? <laughs> like, I look at me, bro. I have no pockets, It's like, it's, it goes back to, like, that one story where I was like, oh, yeah, like, I was really drunk. I don't remember doing that. And then there's like, oh, yeah, you were there doing that. And it's like, yeah, yes. I, I literally had to leave, bro. I had to leave because yeah. there's not. There, I, I mean, literally you can't did do the anything. right. You did the right thing leaving. Honestly, I think like if you stayed and like, more words spread out, like it could have been yeah. like, a bad thing. Like fuck cancel culture. You probably would have probably gotten your ass rocked. Yeah. Bro. So because I've known like there's a girl. There's been girls where they're like, yo, like he did that, and it's like, yeah, and it's like you swear on everything, like without a reasonable doubt, like. You saw him or not. You're assuming, you know, not assume because like <laughs> someone's about to get their shit rocked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which is another reason why I don't like being in crowds. I don't want to. I've seen a girl. Accent. I've seen a girl go, hey, he he touched me. And like they just fucked oh up this God. dude. And then they're then like after they fuck the dude up, they're like, that's not the right guy. It's that one. No. <laughs> oh yeah, my god! Yeah, they told me about that story and shit. So I'm like, see that yeah. this is so, dude. I have <laughs> this ad. You could have gotten it. Would have given us that. You, you were yeah, You you didn't notice at the time, but like you really made the right decision. Maybe. And I, ah, oh, damn thinking mm-hmm. again. It goes that it goes that thing, bro. That <laughs> That's blanket. not the right guy. <laughs> the wrong guy. God, John. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's like one of the reasons sucks, why I don't like being sucks. like in the crowd, bro. Like, I, I don't want to accidentally touch somebody, bro. Like, I'm not intentionally mm-hmm. going out of my way to grab your booty. I know that my six, name is Frisky Hug, but that's a feet. joke, bro. Like, I'm not really being six, like six feet should be like a normal. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> not six. Three. Like, I'm not intentionally not going close. into the crowd and being Frisky. You know what I mean? Like, that's a, that's a joke, bro. That's a fucking name. Like, like <laughs> you're that Frisky touching guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're the one that gets all Frisky in the crowd, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> not that guy. <laughs> Turn that into a gift. Bro, I saw the weirdest <laughs> thing at a at a club the other day. It was at Elixir. It's that grandpa guy that goes, Oh, I'll um pay me to dance. And what? Okay, maybe you haven't seen him and stuff. This no, is old I don't guy. like go out like that to like I, I do like I'm busy. Working. Bro, it was brunch, bro. I don't even know. Like it was a brunch early. at Elixir? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that shit popped. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and this old guy came through, he was like, I will dance for a it's dollar. It's really good. And like this girl paid him a dollar, right? And then he goes, "Okay, sit down in this chair." And bro, he starts humping her, and I'm like recording. I'm like, <laughs> bro, with this bro, this girl literally left traumatized. I bet. <laughs> and I was like, bro, like yeah. that wasn't you paid him to like she and paid you- him to do that. <laughs> and you paid him to do it. Yeah, you should. He didn't specify the dance. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. dirty dance. Yeah, some dirty, yeah, some, some frisky dance. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how close that motherfucker got, but it, it looked pretty close to me. I was like, uh. If you recorded her, she probably hates her. I mean, and like that dude should be charged with sexual assault, not me, because I have my wallet talked to you or some shit. She's getting charged for stupidity. Like I can't even walk through the crowd without being accused of fucking Man, sexual assault. I'm not gonna fucking pay a, a old dude dance. Bro, I almost a did. dollar. Bro, I almost was gonna like. I just wanted no. nobody. I just wanted to like. Dance I seen on the a floor. dude that's like, "Yo, kick me in the nuts for like twenty bucks," <laughs> and like you do people, it? I didn't. <laughs> but I seen people do it. I feel I feel weird about it, man. I feel like, oh, and then like sick. after they kick him in the nuts, he goes, "I'm a heart attack," and like he like pulls his shirt down, and like I guess like his rib cage is missing or something, 
and like he just makes his heart like pop out like and it's just crackhead shit. It's crackhead shit. <laughs> That like, goddamn Joe Rogan he goes, here. He's got, he, like, he said, <laughs> got that red bone. I'm heart attack. And like literally shows us that like his heart mm-hmm. shows. Like you can Where'd see. Where'd you get that shirt, man? Heart. Where'd you get that? You make it yourself? Uh no, William Sterling made this shit. Damn. Yeah, like in the back. Okay. And the pants. And the pants. You guys want any fit advice? This is your man, Blaze Entertainment. Hit him up. He's got the fits. You fucking got it, bro. Yeah, we aim for success around uh, around this place. For oh, fest- and the best. Yeah, we, we ain't fucking around the Festival Hub podcast. <laughs> I see it, bro. If, I, if, 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 if I don't remember my name, it's on my shirt. <laughs> I forget sometimes, man. That's why I wrote my main, my mom's name on my <laughs> fine Maria. My Maria. <laughs> Maria. His name, baby, they name you Maria. Maria. Yeah. They think that's your name. You know what I don't get mad is when people name their child after themselves. I'm sorry, man, but it just gets too complicated at the house already. Like to be... I mean, yeah. <laughs> because it's like I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Stop naming your kid after yourself because like now you're making confusing us. Think about I mean, that's almost like some like. I feel like that extends almost from like medieval times where there was like kingdoms and shit. Yeah, when you wanted to call people Charles the Third. Yeah, where it was like you're uh, you're something of royalty. Yeah, and now it's like Charles John R- Smith Charles, the Seventeenth. R- 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 R.I.P. John Smith the Seventeenth. Oh man, everyone's dying. You notice that? I'm living. You are, bro. You are living your best life right now, man. You are living, thriving. I'm you are living. you are in a good place right now, man. And you will be for real thankful I, for I'm, the... I'm trying to have a Tesla and, and a house by then. Oh, you can get a Tesla and a house. You just got to pay the payments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <You gotta>... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, everybody can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because at that point, everybody's like gonna capital, fucking like, Tesla. Like, like, like the capital, they, like everybody just. Dude, goes you know what? Teslas. It's funny. Like I want, I was gonna get a Tesla. If I was gonna be living in Cali, I was gonna get a Tesla. That was the original deal. I was like, yeah. all right, like, because you gotta like gas is like six bucks over there, bro. I can't bro, that I'm shit. getting a Tesla. Period. I just like, I like my Jeep, bro. I got that Jeep that was like right over there. Like, okay. I put shit in the back, bro. I stuff it with shit, so it's good for like cargo. Like, I'm but going- they got the Tesla truck coming. Oh shit! Yeah. You forgot. I never remembered. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You I don't, don't remember I don't Elon Musk like he goes, Oh yeah, the glass is supposed to be like unbreakable. Oh, shit. And it was a prototype. Uh-huh. And like I guess like they didn't have like the unbreakable. Ones. Yeah. And then like he like threw something at it and it like broke. Or like he hit it with a hammer or some shit. And it like broke and he goes, Oh, um, yeah, let's fix that. <laughs> like that's not supposed to happen. Dude, and uh, then like he sold the truck out, like like I'm, it sold out, and he was like, okay. Hey, so I love Elon Musk, bro, but he is so goddamn fucking rich. Lower the Tesla prices, my guy. <laughs> I mean, he is rich now. The question is, the real question is, what's he gonna do with all that money? Try and go to Mars. Okay, and then. I mean that that already is billions of dollars. So then all that money goes to where? All the people the people who are working in SpaceX. Uh-huh. Yeah. So then he has to do something to the take all that money back. <laughs> and then so he's not making he's not profiting from this, I don't think, unless he's making like contracts with like NASA or whatever. But I mean, I'm pretty really sure it's a them? private corporation. So I don't think they are in they're not with like NASA. But I mean he plans on going to the fucking Mars, bro. Hey, good do your thing, brother. You're- but it's like that's like his money. Not necessarily the yeah. company's money, though. So, like, with the company, he wants to do that. But what is he going to do with that money? Uh, oh, like, the profit money? Like, so, like, there's different things. So, like, your company has money, and then, like, you have your own money. You I don't know? think his company's making money right now. Is it? I mean, how do you make money with doing so, SpaceX? So, check that out. So, like, if he's doing that, then what is he doing with his money? Well, I don't know what billionaires do with their money, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he got so much money. Like, what's what does he do with? 
I'm, I'd love to spend a day with Elon Musk. What I, do you do on your off day? And he'll probably be like, I don't have an uh, off day. I mean, and I it's would, like, what do you do with like your five seconds of break? I would love it if somebody just gave me a million dollars, bro. I could change my entire life with a million dollars. I feel like everyone could. Yeah. <laughs> one, one million like dollars, everybody. bro, and I could turn it real quick. <laughs> everybody. Yeah. And That's a lot. Yeah, it's like and people forget, right? People are like, oh my god, I want to be a millionaire, like this and this and that and that. But like honestly, like you know, people think small. They think, oh, I'm gonna buy a house and I'm gonna buy a car, dude. And then what? Fuck that shit. <laughs> like I, I could live and in, then travel, travel the world. Well, I'm trying to fucking throw crazy parties. I'm Britney, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she like naked and shit. Man. <laughs> Can't wait till I do that on my fucking Instagram. Oh my god! And Just like, put a little emoji. Of like the fire, no, nah, they'll probably make fun of me for the. Fire. I'll, I'll, I'll use like a black heart over. I will say, man, one million dollars, one million dollars, bro, and I will throw all my one million dollars into making my like, like the biggest festival I can come up with. I mean, bro, when it comes to like festivals, one million isn't that much. It's not, but it, I could whatever festival I can create with that much. That's what I'd make. Okay, because <laughs> I don't I, like I don't want to borrow from investors. You know what I mean? I just want to I just want to have that money. Then mm-hmm. it's all coming back to me. All of it. It's all. I mean, not necessarily. No, no. <laughs> Talk to me. So there's the, your festival could flop, bro. Never say that, bro. Uh, this is my hopes and my dreams. <laughs> You're... Well, that means you got to do something to prove me wrong. But, People take it as I shit talk a lot, and it's nah, like, nah, bro. Don't. I'm just looking at a negative uh, aspect because, mm-hmm. like, if you see there's holes in, within mm-hmm. the system, you got to fix that. And it's so funny you said the same thing. <laughs> I said the same exact thing because that's, like, where my mindset is at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not, trying, to, I'm not trying to risk it all on an idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, no. You're frisky. I said risky. Yeah. Ri- it's then, actually, okay, well, so- I have a guy that's called Risky Blonde. I got Frisky Hug. You know what's called? Bro, I got Nate. <laughs> So it's funny because there's a joke going around because like, you know, when you get to like a level of like, like clout and et cetera, mm-hmm. right. Um, I, I get, bro, I go through people coming up to me more times like, are you frisky hug? Mm-hmm. And my friends have heard it so much because they're always hanging out with me when people like literally come up to me and they say that. They're like, are you risky rug? Yeah, yeah, they do that. They're like, they they, they're that. like, they're like are, you, are you whiskey? Are you whiskey uh, hug? Say, oh my God, Ian Blaze, can I get your autograph? And it's like, bro, I was signing titties the other day. Like, so I, with, with the girl that meant it. Like, I'll take so, your funny so ha-has because it's I, real. So I love everybody that comes up to me and says all that shit. But like my friends, they're not influencers. They're not content creators. Uh-huh. So they're, they, they're there. They're there and they're witnessing it. So like, they were, yeah. they, and they're my friends. Are they going to make fun uh-huh. of me for all this shit? Cause but they like humble you down. It's funny. Yeah, they do. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I get humbled real quick by my friends. Right? Like, <laughs> you know, shout out to the friends. Yeah. A hundred percent, bro. And they always got to remind me. I was, I was talking to this on the other episode too. Like, uh, I was like, yeah, we always got to be humble, bro. I forget how to be humble sometimes. And thankfully, sometimes I got- I'll be tweaking. Yeah, <laughs> I love that you say tweaking. Like <laughs> sometimes I'll be tweaking. Yeah, bro, me too. So we get in our own G- head. GA is hot lava. <laughs> you know we fucking we, we, we play GA is hot lava today. Yeah, dude, we're, we're, we're doing our best though, man. <laughs> yeah, and but anyways, my friends are like you know they they think it's funny, but like I love it when they when my when like people that know me and so like they come chase me down, they come say hi to me. That interaction to me means a lot, right? Mm-hmm. But with my friends. They're not at my level, right? They're they're, they're yeah. thinking like, wow, this, this motherfucker over here again. Oh, this guy again, just getting. Sometimes like, when I go to like VIP tables, a lot of people like come and say what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I love that shit, but yeah. at the same time, it's like we like our space too. One hundred percent, bro. Um, and you know, so they, they, now they come up with names about me, right? So like when I'm in the house, right, my room would be like, wait, are you are you whiskey wug? <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, they're like, oh, are you risky? It's, the the bathroom I guess there's like a like an air bubble I'm assuming yeah yeah I guess when it's super windy like it makes a lot of noise oh like a little clacking yeah I don't know if they can hear it on the podcast but if you guys hear it uh, my restroom is like a ventilation thing that like I guess like makes a lot of noise whenever it gets really windy I don't know some shit you should get that fig you know this is not my house <laughs> oh. fuck it Eric's house <laughs> uh, Eric should get that fig so. hey because I'll tell you this man when he sells the house I ain't getting any of the profit huh. I mean, tell them like, yo, I'll give you, I'll, I'll raise the value. Hey, 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 bro, I fixed that shit that one time. So when you sell the house, it'll be 100K, bro. I mean, yeah, tell them a percentage. Give me 1% and 
and I'll give you one tip that's gonna sell the house better and more like enjoyable. one tip, one percent, one percent of a, out of a house, bro. Like that's still a bit. Nah, he'll say fuck your tip. Give me a hammer, fix it. <laughs> no, you don't tell him to fix that. You don't give him the info. Yeah, <laughs> you tell him one thing, and, and I'll raise the value of the house. <laughs> that's all he needs to know. If he's a smart man, he'll say yes. I'll say yes. And yeah. like, okay, bro, because cool. I'm looking, I'm starting, I'm getting to the point where I'm like looking for houses and I'm like working like to bust my ass off mm-hmm. and I'm starting to get money now. And like I'm looking at houses and I'm seeing like 300,000, quarter million. And I'm starting to go like, oh wow, quarter million is cheap. Like, what? <laughs> like, never did I ever think I was ever going to say that sentence. Yeah. And it's like, I'm still not at a million, but it's like, Wow, like my parents have two of those. Jeez. My parents got two houses. Yeah. You know? So it's like, and then my grandparents had like three. Yeah. So it's like, what? <laughs> like, essentially, it's almost like my mom's like halfway to a millionaire. And like my grandpa a millionaire in property and assets. Like his right. net is like, network. Worth, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Net, your net network worth. probably. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, whoa. And then it's like, wow, quarter million's right there. A car is like, a good brand new car, like thirty thousand. You know, that's how much I got mine for. See the problem, the difference between the house and cars. Um, car, it's still a lot. Cars decrease in value, houses increase in value. So mm-hmm. if you're wanting to make, uh, if you were thinking about making a start in something, mm-hmm. do it in your house because you can invest in your house now. A good investment is a house, but a good right. investment is also a car. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, I guess you, it you, speeds you, the process up. If it's get the, from point A to point B. True, which um, is what you need to be able. Transportation, I think, is like the most most important. Yeah, and it always depends, right? Like, where are you working? Are you working everywhere? Do you mm-hmm. actually need a car? Because if you just like, if you work down the street, but it's like invest I, in a scooter, bro. No, but like people nowadays are investing into like the mobile houses, but not mobile homes, but like mm, the, the, the vans, the RVs, like RVs, and like they're turning vans into like homes, you know? And mm-hmm. they're like they can shower there. They don't essentially even need a house anymore. And that's great, man. But it brings I, the cost of a I'm house. I'm just down. so old now. Like, I'm, I mean, I want a house, period. <laughs> but like, having an RV in like a mobile that, house like that, that like a little mobile. Man. For if I was like in my 20s, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, bro, fuck it, dude. That's a, that's a thing it, where like you could take whatever. Bro, hey, let's go to like Arizona, Rocky that, Mountains and that. Though, but bro, think about it. Like I could this. be 60 years bro, old. I tell bro. a girl that. Think about this. We man. we going to see we going sightseeing, bro. What if you get in <laughs> a car? Some views. Bro, if you get in a car wreck and somebody hits your car, they didn't hit your car. They hit your oh, house. They, <laughs> dude, that'd be so bad, <laughs> bro. They knocked your kitchen that, over. I'm pulling out the strap, not the fine china. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, dude, I'd be so pissed. Oh, so bro, pissed. I'm telling you, man. A car accident angry. in your van would ruin your angry. entire I'd day. I'd be so angry at like every at like, life. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. Oh my god. My homegirl makes them and shit. Bro, what 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 if your like girlfriend and shit is like cooking in the the kit in the van or whatever? And somebody just hits her, like the grease just hits her in the face. <gasps> she loses her face. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Terrible. We're tra- okay. I, I should be thinking. Yeah, like this. <laughs> that's like stay. That's like saying, "What if like I stay here in the tornado rain?" Like, uh, <laughs> oh, it could be the tornado. <laughs> but what if there is? We haven't watched the news soon. Uh, I've drove through a tornado one time. I've drove it through a bro, blizzard. It, it bro, that shit was whack. COVID, during COVID, mm. it was <laughs> one. It was like a tornado was about to like touch land. Like it was mm. forming, and like you could see it. I've never yeah. seen like a tornado like that, and it looked almost like a hurricane. You know how, like, you see, like, hurricanes from far out pictures? Nah, yeah, yeah. Like, on, on pictures, it was, like, that, but, like, smaller and, like, right in front of you. So it was, like, whoa, like, it's here. This is serious. And then it's, like, oh, tornado warning. Like, everyone needs to stay inside. Yeah. And then it was, like, Stay-ish. also, uh, also like, COVID rules was, like, the curfew was about to hit, too. And, and I was at this like house party, and it was like a crazy like house bro, party. Bro, the fact that curfews were a real thing. What the? We're not kids, bro. Like they, there was a real like they were trying, bro. Like everyone's gonna tell their grandchildren, bro. We had a curfew. Like every adult in yeah. America had a curfew. I had bro. I had a tornado and a curfew, bro. <laughs> during a protest. Oh, the protests were fun. I was, I was out there for those. I was too, man. I was. I, was I had a sign that said EDM for Black Lives. <laughs> 
And then I, and then all like these ravers come out. Like, like, bro, you rave? What? I'm like, what, country, what state was this at? Denver. Okay, but. And they were like, um, they're like, wait, wait, bro, you rave? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I rave. I'm like, I'm like the raver, bro. I'm like, no, nah, bro, I'm like the raver. Like, okay, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree, right? We're both ravers. I'll, I'll tell them pull out the answer. Pull out the answer. I don't even yeah. like to like show people that shit. What you just like, I, I like to I like to just let them, you know. One girl like told me the other day. She was like, I got a lot of followers, and like she had like a thousand. No, I'm just like, <laughs> um, yeah. And then I pulled mine, and then she's like, Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, do we? It, it always comes down to like, do you get recognized in public? And not in public, you get recognized in a non EDM space. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I get recognized at the airport, bro. Like when he's like going to like a show, yeah. I get recognized. I get recognized, and I think like my following doesn't necessarily correlate to like mm-hmm. how many people actually know. Me. I think because not everybody follows me on Instagram. So I was just talking about this to um another the, person. The, yeah, the Fresh River in the last podcast. Oh yeah. And wait, wait, I was bringing this up. Your followers never correlate to the people that actually know you. Mm-hmm. So they never will. No, no. So like never. So think about this, man. I have videos with like, say, I have one video with like six million views. I have another one that has like two million views. So like, that's the only people I've actually seen my fucking face. You know what I mean? Like, or know of me and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like these, these views, right? And I've six also, million, damn. Oh fuck yeah, bro. That's the podcast. No, that is uh. Just I was about to say, that, damn, I'm about to be in front of six million. <laughs> no, bro, that is a not the podcast. It's the, like TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Hey, what do you do in the TikTok? Filmed uh, at being at a festival. Six million. God, I love that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, you never know if the fuck will blow up, bro. Fucking so like, so I know people follow me because I've been bumped into people at the, at the at a festival that don't follow me. And they're like, um, they're like, oh my God, you're that TikTok guy. Or you're, oh my God, you're the YouTuber. Or like, you know, every uh-huh. single time it's a different platform, bro. Every time I meet somebody's a different platform. Oh, I, I feel you. like a lot of mine is I know you from Instagram. Yeah, so the trick is to always have every platform available, and uh-huh. I promise you, every single interaction is gonna be different. It's like always different people. No, I got Facebook a lot too. Yeah, yeah. So you never know, man. It's just like so. Like for me, it's we like, just started the company Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I just followed it. Yeah, yeah. I am. I don't even have a Twitter. I am so bad on Twitter, bro. I don't even. I mean, we're starting to touch base and like we're you getting, we're starting to, you to know what I mean? Gray, gain some traction. Exactly. You, you got to, bro. You got to have every platform, man. You cannot not. Yeah, have we started every making a company TikTok too. You have to, bro. Mm-hmm. You're smart. If you're a smart businessman, you know that every. We have like a thousand followers and some of us just getting like 3,000 views. Because you have to remember, man, like even. It's like not even e- matching. Even if, even if one of these platforms, the one like I think my Twitter only has like a thousand. That's a thousand I didn't have before. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That adds to the total value. Of everything. Of everything. So, I don't know. I personally think that, like, you know, get every platform and stuff. But even then, man, some people don't even follow me, but they know of me, bro. Mm-hmm. You know of me. Because why? I've been shared on, like, multiple brands. You ever been stopped at, like, a Walmart? <laughs> I, I used to work at Walmart. And, and I, I used to work, uh, like, produce, dairy, uh, frozen I don't think so. I don't and me and like yeah. I got stopped one time. They're like, "You're Ian Blaze," and, I, and that's when I yeah. was like, "I think I need to like start stopping like it's a doing little, my it's, regular day job because yeah. like I had to take pictures in like my Walmart uniform." Yeah, savage, yes, uh, and I said, "Yeah," like my bosses knew that like I was like known, so like they were cool when like yeah. people did that, and like they used to give me like a bunch of like days off when I needed them. And it was yeah. like, it was great. Working at Walmart was actually like kind of fun. You know, I, I had a, I, was at Walmart too. I had to stop. <laughs> I had a, I had a buddy of mine. We hung out at a drop and rave and I was like, Hey man, let's just go to the bathrooms and stuff. I'm like, you know, I gotta, I gotta go pee. I gotta get water and all that stuff. Right. So we did our, like, we did like our walks to go get water and all. And I got stopped so many times because I have my GoPro and I was recording mm-hmm. people. I got stopped, take pictures, and they giving people hugs, trading candy. Yeah, but he was like, "Wow, man, people I really, love that shit. People really love your camera. Like they yeah. just love being in the camera." I'm like, "Yeah, bro, that's why yes. they're stopping me." <laughs> you know. And then later on, like it, as the day goes by, people keep coming up to me. He goes, "Man, they like just really love being in this spot. Like people just keep coming here." I'm like, "Yeah, bro, they just they just <laughs> love this area." Like, yeah, the areas like that I'm always at at twenty four seven. Yeah, and then somebody goes, somebody goes, "Oh, so you are you friends with Frisky Hug? Like me, Manny?" 
no, like, I don't know his real name, but yeah, like, Frisky Hug, the content creator. He's like, what? He makes content? Cause I, I'm, so I'm that's this, when he realized, like, what the fuck was going I mean, on? This, I mean, I met him at I'm Radiate, bro. Like, just <laughs> randomly. I just need somebody to fill the spot for the... Uh, yeah, that's yeah. funny I just fuck. need somebody to fill the spot so I can, like, I don't have to pay for the whole ticket, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and he feels like... Because <laughs> I don't want to pay for the whole ticket, bro. That's you know? so funny. So, like, I, I asked somebody if anybody, like, wanted to get the space in my card, like, yeah, you know, and pay part of the ticket. Yeah, he goes, Yeah, I got you, bro. Like, he didn't know who I was and stuff like that. But it's like, it's, he just saw you were another normal dude. I am a normal dude. <laughs> I know you're frisky hug. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound like a normal name so, at all. Did somebody ask, uh, Normal is like, I am. I'm Manny. <laughs> like <laughs> you're frisky hug, dude. So be honest, That's not a normal first Snapchat. and last name. So I I, I joined I joined Snapchat just sometimes, you know, like, just because like I love. Oh like, yeah, dude, to be, like, they be the popping. Community. They be popping. I love to be in the community, and I enter. I'm in a few, and and I got wave and shit, right? And like these these Snapchat groups, and somebody was like, like wait a minute, do we have frisky fucking hug in our Snapchat group right now? Wait, what? And then everybody was like uh, talking about it, like what? Like no way. This and this and this. And this guy was like, "Wait, is he like famous or something?" This and this. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm just... you'd be like peeping and like not reply. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love, I love that peeping thing. I was that guy, like, <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. And I, but I like to say I'm just like a normal guy because I'm a normal guy. You know, I just happen to just make content and and influence and promote and it just I just want to feel like. One of the boys, you know, a part of it, yeah, dude. Part of the fucking crew, yeah. Man. I love being in like so many like circles, yeah, yeah. It's like a lot of circles, yeah. Like I, I do all walks of life, yeah, man. We- <laughs> Rap, rock, wrestling, bro. Oof. I fuck with the wrestlers. It fucking gotta love the athleticism, you know. They get, they be getting hit. Dude. You can, you, you just don't just magically do a backflip. Or a backflip. I can't do screw. a backflip. Exactly. I'm but wrestlers fucking, are I'm doing that. Chicken shit. So I had a buddy I was gonna he's like, oh, I'll show you how to do a backflip. Like, no, bitch, you're gonna you're gonna watch me break my knee. You neck. ever see be seeing the people that like dance and like the girl be like spinning around them like that mm-hmm. and shit? Like they be doing that in wrestling too. So like they do that plus backflip. So it's like it's like an art the way I see it. It's like gymnastics mixed with dancing and with like a storytelling. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck they be doing half the time and like they be like whispering and shit. But like the artistry, I could fuck with, dude. The athleticism, also, bro. All walks of life. Esports, we got like three Nintendo Switches. Or we got two in this fucking house. We got, and we do, we be doing, uh, we're doing like little tournaments and shit. Yeah. Like we're gonna try to do like a Jump Force one. You know, if we're, everything permits. We're like almost three hours here. Are we really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut it short. Just cut it short. We're gonna, we're gonna cut it pretty soon. Um, Ian, it was fucking great having you on the podcast. Yeah, we'll just man. do another podcast, dude. Definitely love hanging do out. Do like with more me. questions and shit, and I'll answer them because I know you're gonna be like intrigued with like yeah. you haven't really been to like the show so I'd i haven't love, very new i'd you. love for you to like go to like one of the shows and see like what the fuck yeah very new about. to your orlando see man I, like i said i've only been like it, here it, i just happen to live in orlando yeah <laughs> i just i'm part of a florida scene yeah i'm, I'm part, of, part of the edm scene see, and that's never, way never bigger part than of a me. scene like i just spend like two years in the scene and then i leave that and then i go to some another new scene new scene which is why, like, like I don't just get noticed, like, in like it's a little hard for me to get just only noticed, like, in town. Because uh-huh. I don't spend enough time in a town to be, like, noticed. Um, but, like, I, I get noticed, like, in, like, all over the U.S., right? Yeah. So, like, I, I can go, I, I, when I tell you, man, I can go to New York right now and I can get You got my, people. Yeah, I got people. Like, yeah. I can go to Colorado. I got Watch people. This. You got You got a lot of people on Snap? I don't even know what you have. Maybe. How do watch, you check? You, well, watch this one. Watch this one. Go to this and like zoom out mm-hmm. to the maps. Click that little thing and yes. then zoom out. Yeah, you got a fat map. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, you, you got, got you got overseas. Uh, My thing's still I loading. Uh, I got somebody literally in an ocean. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's an island over there. That's oh, like okay. Hawaii. Oh yeah, I got somebody over there. Wait for it. What you got Wi-Fi? Oh, I got somebody in Ireland. I got, I got some people from Germany. 
Uh, see, yeah, Alaska. Watch his wife, I is that Hawaii? Wait, who's in Hawaii right now? That's what know. I told you. It's a. Is it Amiibo soundbar? Or what? Your Wi-Fi? Bro, that's gonna take a minute to connect. Oh no way! Yeah. Yeah, my thing's still loading. No, bro, that that's it. That's <laughs> no, I got no, I got nah, people bro. like over nah, here. Bro, that's shit. it. They're all offline. <laughs> they're ghosting you. They're still going. No, they're still going. Look. Oh, there it goes. Oh, they're still going. Snap, they're still bro. Going. It's the way they call it snap. It's like, oh, snap. <laughs> Look, see. That was funny. He said, they said, oh, snap. <laughs> I know, dude. But yeah, like, <laughs> like Alaska. Like, what, what are you doing over there, dude? <laughs> Bro, I do got a hell of a fat man, bro. You almost got no. That's not Alaska. That's like Washington. <laughs> yeah, you got you got head. All right, you gotta get more towards the west. But yeah, oh look, you got a you got an Alaska dude. Yeah, yeah. Hey. You oh, know, no, you know what the same. You know what's funny, man? Is like uh, when I started doing all the content creating, I wasn't in Cali. Um, like I was I was known in Cali for doing certain things, but I didn't like think about like making like social media like a priority when I was doing all that stuff in, in Cali. Um which which I fucked up, man. I should have prioritized social media when I was in Cali. In Cali? Dude, yeah, Cali's like up. big. Shout out to the Space Gap boys over there killing it. Yeah, bro. I got I got tons of friends in my uh, in, in the Cali scene right now. So if I if I went to Cali for like instead of here, I would have been taken care of, bro. Like I Why don't we like plan some shit. We can. Dude, the, We'd fuck Cali up. Dude, I, I could get the whole content creator crew. I'm part of a Discord with all of them. We fucking. I know, like, some of the little dancer shuffler girls that be, like, yeah, trending and shit. Um, I, I just I interviewed uh, Devin. His cousin is. Uh, Who's Devin? Devin Larshide. He's like a, like a TikToker. His, okay. co- his cousin is. God, I can't remember his name now. God damn, but he's in Smosh. I don't know if you heard of that. It's like it's like really popular YouTube channel. I used to listen. I used to look at that shit all the time when I was a kid. I'm not big on YouTube yet. Yeah. Did like. Well, where do you put like your like videos and shit? Just like Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. You, you need sure. to make a YouTube channel, bro. Just I stop mean, loading. Yeah, it. we're going. We're going. Yeah. Everything matters, even if they get, if they get copyright, like copyrighted or whatever. Like just fucking. I just be you know? doing like so much shit that it's like. It's bro, we watch <laughs> YouTube here religiously after every event. Really, hundred percent, bro. Every what, place I go to. So check this out. Explain. So like, you watch it. What do you watch? Sets of the same DJ. Uh huh. We're fucking crackheads, bro. We're just really <laughs> interesting. Uh-huh. Every single time, everywhere I go, man, we're like, hey, can you guys just play that set again? Like that was fire. You know, you just want to see it again. And um, I'm used. I, I used to upload like I'm the guy like recording the set and then uploading it once I get home. And like it's like in the first hour, I already have it uploaded ready on so YouTube. Let's ready set to go. Up cameras. At one of my events and record the shows. Exactly, bro. Like you do that shit, people are gonna go back. Like, oh my god, like let's play some more nitty gritty. Let's do it. Cause not everyone's at a warehouse party, bro. So people are at home, literally, you know, doing whip it and shit with some friends and just, like watching live sets again. You know. Interesting. That's what at least that's what we do. I, that's what we've been doing with all my all, all my friends like the last few years. Like we just go on YouTube, we just fucking watch sets. I don't know. It's like it's. That was a weird crackhead habit, I guess. <laughs> like, 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 we're too tired to go out, but not tired enough to like knowledge to the music, you know? Like, not to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like we still want to hang out, but like we don't yeah. like go out. That's so funny. So how do you like? How do you entertain those people, right? So like, what I used That's to do. So funny. Is, I have so much time in the day. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. So I. Like I know it exists, but not like to like this extent. I know like they had the sense, bro. and like maybe they watch it and like rewatch it and shit. Like yeah. I get the rewatching. But it's like essentially like exploring like that, like that could get a lot of traction. Too. So I uploaded the slander back to back subtronic set that happened in Forbidden Kingdom, and I literally you recorded it. Recorded the entire set, came home, uploaded it. Was up within thirty minutes of me leaving that festival. Already uploaded. We were having we had an after party here. Uh-huh. Like imagine here, but like thirty five people just like partying. And I'm over here in the corner, with my laptop, like uploading yeah. this bitch because I'm thinking I'm a content creator first, bro. Hanging out with my friends second. I'm like, I love, I love them, but yeah, this is a career move for me, right? Like, this uh-huh. isn't. I, That's a good move. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, how can I increase my following? How can I increase my, my potential? So while they're out doing shots and shit, I'm over here fucking uploading shit, right? And <laughs> love it, bro. Love I it. I was living. Love it. Wasn't living here yet, right? So <laughs> this is. I was still like a guest here, right? Like, uh huh. 
and I fucking get, I'm like, hey guys, I gotta catch a flight like in a few hours. So I'm gonna do shots with you, hang out. I go on the on the plane, and my I have some other friends uh, that that are also like flying out, and they go, they go, bro, I just saw your set on YouTube with like so so Tony said back to back slender. He's like, like I'm so glad you captured that shit because you, like literally it's not even up yet. And we're like, we want to watch that set again. Damn. Literally got caught in the airport. People like thanking me and shit for it. I'm like, that's fucking sick. Thirty minutes. Yep. Wow. You're already watching it. Yep. He got 5,000 views in the first hour. <laughs> Damn. Yep. So, like, people watch. How do you get, like, good audio? Is that, like, things to capture? It wasn't good audio. It was just, like, fucking GoPro, bro. <laughs> like, people wanted it. People are so cracked out. They don't care. They just want to see it. I want to, like, incorporate you into doing that with us. Yeah. You I definitely wanna, do that, man. Yeah. I, I want to just wrap you on with, like, a camera and just. You just, I don't know whatever, whatever, the, is, whatever the fuck I put you through, like yeah, right. <laughs> we, we, the world's gonna see what the fuck, yeah, like so, the parties. Yeah, are, so are YouTube about. is a huge thing. Yeah, um, we're, we're when, awesome after, after a festival, YouTube is the place to go, man. We come here, we put on YouTube. Bro. We'll watch even sometimes, like after uh, Swarm uh, over in Tampa, I uh, was over at my buddy's place, and like, dude, we want to watch your vlogs. Like, let's watch some vlogs of yours. I'm like, really? Like, okay, like we can do it. I'm like, I've already seen them a million times. The viewers want to see them. Like, we can do that. They're like, oh, do you have any like from, from Green Kingdom? They want to check out the site. They want to check out the view. They, like, what does the stages look like? What is like, yeah, they want to what kind of music is being played? You know, like they want to see all of it. Like, that's why I love making these vlogs, man. It, it's, it's all like, it's all part of the game, man. Everyone, everyone has a different taste than what they do in these after parties and shit. But a lot of times, man, these little kickbacks and shit, I, I like think about, think of all the people who showed up there. If they didn't go to an after party or a warehouse, where are they going? What are they going to spend their time with? Most of the times, they're a little kickback and they're watching TV. What are they watching? Sometimes they're tripping, so they're watching some crazy shit. Sometimes they're not. They're all just chilling on a couch, doing whippets, smoking weed, and they're just watching somebody on YouTube fucking vlog about the event. Yep. Reliving the moments. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Yeah, we're going to try to talk. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to throw you in there. <laughs> all right, Ian. Um, bro, <laughs> it was, it's been a pleasure, Get man. Ready. They go, okay, you gonna capture everything <laughs> inside back. It's been a pleasure having you in the podcast, man. Yes, thank sir. you for the snacks. I, I mean, thank you for you, everything, brother. brother. It's been it's been great. Um uh so where can everybody find you? Like where you and your company. So my at is on Instagram at Ian I A N dot B L A Z E dot official. Um I'm too high. I've been smoking the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's at ian.blaze.official on Instagram. Uh, from there, you'll see, like, in my bio, you'll see the Blaze Entertainment Company page. You can click the link, the, the link in the bio, and you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, our own website, and a few other things that we've been working on, such as with Foreign, foreign Flavors, and all the other brands, Delta Aids and barber shops and things like that. And I think they're going to like that. So I'm going to try and put all this stuff on the description below for you guys. If you guys are interested, checking out the site, checking out the website, um, checking out the Instagram page and all that stuff, checking it out in general, seeing what it's about. If you're in the Florida um, area and you want to know more about the Florida scene, I mean, this is the guy. Like, if you want to know more about events going on here. I appreciate and- that. Yeah, 100%. It'll all be down in the description below. Um, it just Everything will be linked down. If you're looking, this is Spotify. There's also a little section there. Um, but this has been a great episode with uh, Ian Blaze from Blaze Entertainment. And like I tell every single one of my episodes, I will see y'all at the next one.